Pink Lemonade, Providence, Rhode Island's own The Road Girl. Shout out to The Road Girl doing her thing in Atlanta, I believe, is the new relocation. Mm-hmm. But that selection right there is by today and this week's and this episode's guest, our co host for today, Christina. Hey. hey. Spark Up PVD Welcome. podcast legend in the city. And oh, introduce no. yourself to the people. Tell, tell, them, tell them who you are. Who's this, you know? You know, beautiful face on your TV well, screens you or your so phone much. screens. If you Why guys you are watching, me up already ten seconds in. That's oh, crazy. No. I'm gonna have to come here every week. <laughs> 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 so I go by the name of Christina. Christina Sev, Sparkle Podcast founder. We founded it in 2016. I had two. There was four of us. Now there's only two of us, and um, we did local events we did live podcasts so we were trying to really just di- dive into the podcast world like mm-hmm. the way the mainstream podcasts do it and um as a local person to do that is really tough to get other locals to be interested in things you're talking about but oh yeah it's helped us grow a lot like if you listen to the first ep- even though the first episode is fun cuz we were talk i think we were talking about was it dick pics <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> we really didn't have a plan. We just kind of had a vision of like we wanted to sit with other creatives and entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and, and talk about what they do. But we knew that it had to be high quality and we didn't always have the high quality and or mm-hmm. the idea. So, you know, it's been a um, it's been a learning experience. And I met a lot of people through it. A lot of amazing talent. I met you through the podcast, yep. like, you know, just working in the podcast field and. Mm-hmm. And I also host in the city. I've done things for Chris Fame. I've done um, 95.5, WBRU, the Franchise Report. Shout out to them. Yeah. Hey. Um, and I recently just started my own thing, an yep. event. Rhode Island's own hip-hop right. trivia event. Yes, That's yes. right. Everybody hip-hop listening? Game show, hip-hop game show. Hip-hop game show. The first official Rhode Island hip-hop game show. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's official. And it was the second one? This is the third one. The third one that I was a part of. So the third annual, yeah. Or, well, it's or the, the last year did you do two? How was it? Again? I've been trying to do it like seasonally, yeah. But because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to. So hopefully, this will be the first year I'll be able to do more of them. Yeah. Like I don't want to go ahead and say I'm gonna do five this year and then it not happen. But the plan is to have it like every other, like quarterly, maybe yeah. not quarterly, but every other month or so. So yeah. I did it the first time, February 2020. And then the second time was in September, I think, of 2021. Okay. So. End of the year type shit. Or last quarter. Yeah. It's not annually. It's just been when I could get it done. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) COVID been hanging on all my plans. but Yeah. But yeah, I was a part of that. uh, The most recent one. Um, the cap crew, shout out to the cap crew. They were invited. They, they were, they were busy though. Next time we got to have one of them up there. That'd be crazy. Both of them. <laughs> um, but shout out to Marlon and Erlen here. Mindset producing for this episode as well. Hey, per usual. Every tired. week. Yeah, yeah. Marlon's tired. You know, Marlon's welcome, welcome. been <laughs> pushing in boats and logs. Like David got Goggins says. He's going bees. to work after this and then work again. Don't mind me. Busy day. He's grinding. <laughs> snooze into He's yeah. grinding like that thing that breaks down weed. You know, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> grinders. Um, <The> app? <laughs> that's what. What do you know saying? about the app? <laughs> he said the oh, app. the <laughs> app, grinder, wow. the app. Oh, no, I'm no, <laughs> what's going <laughs> on here? <laughs> um. Okay. Damn. All right. Started it with the grinder word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the trigger word. Can't uh. say that word no more. Um. <laughs> 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 but um. Yeah, but yeah, definitely shout out to Christina's event. It was beautiful. Appreciate you inviting me and having me participate Thank in you it. For coming. Um, you know, I was nervous on that stage because the light was in my face and it was like I didn't know how it was gonna be. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, hmm, probably first of all, I know it was at crib, right? So the only event the events I've been to at crib has always been like I told you when I was there, like the smaller stage, but it was like they used the bigger stage. I never seen that. Maybe like in videos. But I swear, unless I'm not remembering yeah, right. They use the other stage. Yeah. But Shout that to, stage yeah. is bigger. It's just shorter. Yes, that is true. It, it has more area space, but it's just less le- uh, elevated. But shout out to um, Nasty, Jay, um, and yes, Sabrina. The, they have the one of the row. most popular, if not the most popular, 
um, nightclubs right now in Rhode Island and Providence um, and North, on North Main Crib PVD. But um, aside from that, yeah, and it's like, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a part of this, but it's like, how is it going to be? I'm like, more more than likely, obviously, that smaller stage, the, the lower one, um, maybe like a chair set up. And it's like, no, it's the big, tall stage. And it's like, you're going to stand. And it's like, you're going to have the light in your face. And I'm like, okay. It's like, all right. And I'm like, all right. This is, I feel like I'm like performing like an yeah, artist. Like, like, yeah, you're used to that. <laughs> no, shit. I'm always on camera, but like, it's I don't know. Different. It was just weird. Yeah. Especially because the light was in my face. I'm like... I can't fuck up, and it's like I didn't want to get loose. Like I didn't want to drink nothing. I was sober the whole night. Um, but you don't drink, right? I don't drink. I only drink sometimes, like, like a birthday, mm. or like it has to be like my type of birthday, or like someone I really fuck with, or like a Christmas, like a holiday. Especially but I don't drink. Like I don't even. I think I've never purchased like alcohol with my own own money. I think ever. Wow. Ever. I think I'm pretty sure someone else paid or something more likely. Um, but yeah, I don't drink, but yeah, so I, I Kuji, shout out to Kuji, Don Kuji, one of our city's, um, main personalities hosting events all the time. He was a part of it. He was facing me and the hip hop trivia was Lil Wayne and I won. It was five to four. I didn't know I was winning. I, I guess, thankfully, you know, I won. It was dope. And I was like, damn, I won this shit. And, but the whole night I was like, just nervous. I wasn't even f- keeping track of the score. I was just like, I got to make sure I get these answers right. This is like. It's like it, it was kind of harder than I expected. It was good. It was a good um actual challenge. And it was good to see like how the audience reacted to it. It was really well set up. And it, I told her briefly on stage. It reminded me of when I did the uh, hip hop, um, not hip hop. Well, it was hip hop, but the MTV show Fan versus Fan, where they do um trivia, music trivia, mm-hmm. and they invited me to do the episode on Lil Nas X. And they send you like a study guide of not the actual questions, but what the questions will look like. And it was similar to that. It was like reverse mm. the song, um, finish the lyrics, um, trivia about them as like they're, gr- they're growing up and all that. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really um never heard of really that. dope. But yeah, you definitely should check it out. I would definitely recommend it to check it out because, you know, their shit is like whatever. But and if your shit blows up, I might not. I might, let me not say the rest because, <laughs> you know, that could be a potential. Mm. I won't say the word. I'll just do the visual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but yeah, shout out to that event, man. It was beautiful to see and shout out to Providence, you know, always doing their things. You know, we were just talking about before recording, like it's like we're at a we're at a moment right now is like we saw we might still be on the hill rising. I feel like we're still up on the hill rising. Definitely. You feel it. Right. But we kind of saw it like where it was at the bottom of the hill. And now, like, we're almost damn near reaching that point where shit is about to like really take off like the boost like you're reaching the top of the hill like what can be you know and it's exciting to see because even in the midst of the covid the pandemic everything that happened things kind of slowed down but like it's like picking up back right away like the city's picking up back right away the vents are back up again you know people are out like crazy um there's things planned for the summer PVD fest. Everything's happening, you know, back to normal as of now. The PVD fest is coming back. I might yeah. be a part of that. Fingers oh. crossed. Hey. I was supposed to be the part of the one in 2021, but it was canceled. Mm. I mean, no, I'm sorry, 2020, but it was canceled. And then 2021 was virtual, and they were like, do you still want to do it? I was like, why would I want to do the nah. PVD fest virtual? No, save my yeah. spot for 2022, please. Yeah, I'm not a part of their board, but I'm guaranteed if you check their analytics on that, it probably was not successful. Like you can't, <laughs> you can't compare it. But I guess it's like you want to keep it alive, but no, nah, you can't. But speaking of local news, shout out to Hennessy, our mutual friend and okay. home girl, Hennessy, um, local artist out of Providence, Rhode Island. But she's been blowing up. Coincidentally, we just had blessing on recently, and she spoke about being a stage manager on tour. For artists, Jack Harlow was the next big situation, and Hennessy opened up for Jack Harlow. Big so, deal. congratulations to Hennessy. That was amazing to see. Um, yes. She opened up for Jack Harlow, and like, it's just like a a dream come true for her. And like, I see her being very excited for it, and I think she's very well deserving of it. And yeah, time will tell with her. She's another one. She's like mm-hmm. one of those special, you know, stars on the rise. You know, in the midst of this city rising. Um, also. Let's talk about another star. Shout out to Quid- Quiddy Pay. Quid- I got to When he gets here, he's, I'm, I'm, he's going to come here in two weeks. We're hey. going to have him on the podcast. Shout out to him. But I want to learn how to pronounce his name properly. But shout out to Quiddy Pay, the NFL player. Um, He bought his mama house during a Rocket Mortgage partnership sponsored wow. ad. They bought his mama house. The video's gone viral. It was a very emotional situation. You know, he's a part of the NFL. His brother also 
made it to the NFL during this draft. I think it was a part of the third round, like two nights ago. Like this past yeah, month? The, yeah, two days ago. So now, you know, <laughs> the, that family's winning. You know, congratulations mm-hmm. to them, man. It's like, it's amazing to see Providence again. On the fucking rise. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know, um, that's a very big deal. Especially him. He's been actually getting a lot of attention. He was first round and in the, on the Indiana Colts, uh, and an Indianapolis Colts. Indiana Colts sounds ridiculous. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Every time I talk about sports, I always, like, <laughs> fuck up something. And people call me out in the comments, like, here we go again. <laughs> it's like, let's not like, do it today. Do you know sports even? Yeah, are you capping? It's like, it's cap, but are you capping now? Like, no, no, I'm not capping. I know my sports. It's just sometimes I get nervous. Um... Pedestrian killed yesterday on Union um, in a hit and run. We spoke about it before recording the episode as well in Providence. And the city, people are starting to drive crazy because it's getting hotter. The sun's in your face. You got the blood flowing. You might get horned up. I don't know what it is. You're in a rush to go somewhere. I don't know where people are rushing to that they got a hit and run, kill someone. And I think they're still looking for the person. They still haven't found the person that killed her. Expect a lot of this weird shit from him. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta be horned up, cause like, what you, what you, are you after Just some never ass? Heard that word. It's gotta be you after after some ass or something. Like, think about it. There's no point in rush like yeah, that. That's crazy. Bro. It's gotta be that, or you gotta take a but shot. I, there hasn't been no name, right? Of like, I think no name. The was. person they killed that has a name. Uh, it's online. Is an older woman. Shout out to her family. Uh, rest in peace to her. Yes, rest. Um, in North yeah. Kingston. Um, Don't you live near Union? Yeah. Was it on the bridge? Was it that on the that bridge? Yeah, on the bridge. Like going on the exit right there. When, when was it? It was um two, last night or two. No, yeah, I think last night because I saw the I saw the I saw the cops, but then so online I read that what it was. Where were yeah, you last night? I saw you. Last night. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not crib. put it on him. I was at the crib. My car, you could check not my what car. Were you? That's Jesus not, Christ! Totals. <laughs> Marlon turns a Providence police <laughs> officer. God bless. No, God bless that. The family and yeah, everything. Like yeah, that. rest in peace. Sucks, man. Sure. It was I'm also... For for did they catch the, no, the person? No, not yet. No, I think not yet. Person. Person. Maybe it's like if by the time we check you like tomorrow, jail, probably, but as of now, no. I don't know how we're going to stop. I'm thinking the person was a drunk driver, but today is the fifth an- month anniversary. It's weird to say anniversary, but the fifth month anniversary of my cousin's death. She rest wasn't in killed in a hit and run, <laughs> but the person who crashed the car left mm. on the scene and she died. Wow. So I think like... I don't know how we're going to have wow. this conversation or change it, but a lot of people have been drinking and driving lately. Yeah. And that's just not cool. Runs. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's just not cool, man. Especially, like, in the middle of the day. Like, yeah. why are you doing a hit and run in the middle of the day and killing? Like, what is going on? The way the woman was walking. Oh, she was walking? It, no, I'm asking. Oh, I don't I know. Because they didn't want to reveal too much details. They didn't even want to reveal her name and shit at first because obviously it's like, it's a deaf. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know the full details, but. If well, you I check saw, online, it says Providence Hit and Run. I saw That's Union wild. Ave, so it's it's either what the bridge. No, it's on the bridge. The bridge is it right on the bridge. Well, I, like not on the bridge, but like at the end of the bridge, like so when you yeah. when you ride the bridge, like so if you're going to towards Cranston. Because damn, yeah. oh, was it wasn't in car. It wasn't in the car, right? I, just no, I think walking. she was walking. I, th- I don't That's know. Crazy. I don't know the specifics, but I just know that you know. Rest in peace to her. There was yeah, also another sure. death on the highway yesterday. As well, that same day, a rollover crash. Someone crashed the car, and the car rolled over. On I ninety five in Warwick, and they passed away. It's crazy. I'm like, God damn, this is really starting. Yeah. This summer is like, we gotta be safe. Like, people are driving crazy. People are you reckless. know, if people are reckless. They do not give a fuck. They just want to go to where they want to go to, and you know, not care about the consequences of what's happening, who they're crashing, who they're bumping into, and it's just ridiculous. You know, so stay, stay safe, people. Also, Rhode Island. Um, there's an issue with the North Kingston teacher. Um. In a North Kingstown school, but they don't want to specify a lot of this stuff. They're not specifying. It's like, it's like it gets Trying annoying. But I guess it's sounds like, like yeah. a cover up. Yeah, this one, this one like def- definitely. Because uh, my thing is like, it can be you are right technically because uh, they didn't specify what, mm. right? They don't want to spe- specify nothing but inappropriate behavior. Um, and this teacher has been placed on leave, and yeah, keep your fucking hands to yourself. You freaking creep. Like, what is going on? Like, this is another thing happening. You know, um, me and Marlon's talked about this briefly online. There was a happy hour law passed in Rhode Island for drinking. I guess since like the 1980s, um, we haven't been able to like have a, have happy, a happy hour. hour. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even know. Like, that's why a lot of people go to Boston to drink and stuff. Mm-hmm. Look at that. But my thing is, like, I guess because I see happy hour, like, at Sonic and at Taco Bell, so I'm like... (laughs) That's a different type of happy hour. (laughs) (laughs) Happy meal. If I can get a a culotta or a freezy for this price at this time, it's like, obviously, I'm thinking if I go to the bar, it's got to be happy hours, but 
I guess that's the only legal happy hour, but now they made it legal, so Damn, is that bars a good idea? are going to be, you know, that's the thing. Is it a good idea? Is it not? You're going to save money, right? But there's going to be drinking increasing. Mm-hmm. God forbid DUIs increase. Yeah. All this shit that is like, you know. Fuck it. If it does, it's going to be more money. <laughs> for, it's it's going to be more money for the state. That's the way they see it. That's the way they Think see it. it. Yeah, that's that's the way they fucking they see, see it. it, so fuck it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's, like, it's normal everywhere. From yeah. what I'm familiar, I didn't know it was like no. a thing not here since the '80s. So, or like, maybe it'll decrease because yeah. people will have be drunk, go home earlier. Bullshit. That's another. <laughs> but are they Bullshit. walking? It's like there you go. You, <laughs> are they al- walking? you alcohol is gonna go hard. Yeah. No. Nah. Yo. I when That's um so I recently came from a uh, trip from Europe. I'm, I'm open. And like it was, it was like normal to see people out at like twelve o'clock at night, one in the morning, straight just drinking. Like nothing, Walk, walking around and drinking. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they, yeah, they do that shit out there. Uh, Ms. Mendiburu used to tell us. I remember. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ms. Mendiburu, um, Spanish They'll teacher. Go off at She's from Spain and, and shit. Yeah, they, they would legit. She said that shit was normal out there. Walk around it, with beers in their yeah. hands and shit like that. But yeah. you could walk though. Like it's for open them, can, walk open bottle. Walking thirty five minutes is nothing. Like they'll walk that shit. For me, it's like oh, yeah, damn. I heard he was dying yeah, out there, bro. We're lazy. I heard he was dying. Out I there. was used to uh, five minutes have my whip. I'll go in the whip. Nah, minutes, bro. bro. <laughs> it's 35 minutes there and back. People don't really have an hour right yeah, there. That's like, yo. Yeah, that's true. That 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 <laughs> but they that do walk up. a lot over there. But I could see them drinking. They walk everywhere. So yeah, abs on no their danger. Foot and shit. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Rhode, Island, uh, Rhode Island House, uh, they, they've passed a new bill that will... Um, well, no, no, no. That was the other bill that they passed. What am I talking about? I'm reading the wrong notes. Rhode Island Democrat just proposed a bill. So it's not officially... You know, but they propose it that will double your state income tax if you're not fully vaccinated. That's not crazy. just one or two shots, four shots. So they proposed this bill. So it's going to be like, first of all, I think it's like probably groundbreaking. I'm not sure if any other state Wait, has that. So, so so if you're not fully vaccinated, you're four gonna, shots, you're going to get taxed more? Double double your state income tax. You're going to get you're going to get double. So, so there's another boost. You're going to tax there. more. So so, yeah, you're going to get taxed more. So whatever you you got to pay, double your tax, basically. If you not a vac, you're not What's vaccinated. This motherfucker who proposed that? this shit. A lot of people are for it too online, like because you know on Twitter, be a lot of people be very pro vaccination and stuff, and you can't really be anti vaccination on Twitter no more. You get fucking deleted, blocked, whatever. I can't even say that right here. Why? Yeah, that's this video it, might this, get this, this video might get deleted. Down, like last time down, we got blocked because we talked about the vaccine yeah, on YouTube. Down. No, but the booster, yeah. the booster has only been three, right? So we got to get an extra. No, but now they added. They they recently approved oh, the fourth. Shit. I haven't gotten the third. I've been hearing that they keep saying this should take one a year. Nah, mm-hmm. like the flu vaccine? Nah. Well, no, because Dr. Fauci said, uh, they asked him about the fac- vaccine. He said that we moved out of the pandemic stage. We're no longer in a pandemic, but there's still cases. So he said he doesn't. he's not sure if we should be taking it yearly, monthly. And I'm like, monthly? Yeah, nah. Can you imagine taking a shot? <laughs> she has a I can't imagine. But they, they, they want to do that pill. If they, if they introduce that pill idea... People more than likely feel comfortable because a lot of people just don't like needles and don't she, like blood. She she pop people pop a people pop a pill real quick. They pop perks. They pop tums. They pop <laughs> Pepto. They pop everything. Blink pop some pussy. Like they pop whatever. They pop a fucking vaccine pill. That's nothing. But then think about it. You got to pop it four pass, times. Though. That shit ain't gonna pass. Imagine that that bill <laughs> passes, bro. That would be horrible. I will snuff that person right. Because I already got spot. twice. I got my vaccine twice, but I'm like, I don't know about getting the third one. That shit was horrible. Oh, I got I the, third the third one. one I haven't got a. Single you got the third one. one? I got the third one. Because when you went to Spain, you needed yeah, the third one. I needed the booster too. Uh, Whoa. Sorry. They might pass that bill, Mar. You're done. You even got the first. Damn. Fuck. Or but no. they probably got to clock you because my you thing know is this. He can't, he can't rush four. They're, they're just, yeah, you have to, nah, you have to uh, wait it out. You know what mm-hmm. people going to start doing? They're just going to start getting jobs that pay under the table. Yeah, but there's not many. Huh? There's not many. Yeah, I don't think there's And you can't get a... And that's why there's a shortage in a lot of jobs. Yeah, and that's why they did the, the Cash App thing. Now, if you make more than $600 a month through Cash they're App, taxing. they tax you. You got to tax you. You got to report your Cash App and your taxes. Mm. That's wild. They're fucked. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. So I reported my Cash App Plus this year. My, <laughs> ca- my Cash App's over Just that. do Cash. Already, Tell everybody I don't do Cash App. Give me Cash. They can't I hate track cash, that. I hate Cash, though. I hate Cash. I hate Cash, too. I, I don't care. Do you hate Cash or do you want to be taxed? Hey. Got to pay Uncle Why Sam sometimes. Getting, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to start fucking <laughs> bartering. Why am I getting tax on Give me, give me shoes out. or some shit. Oh, this trade. Let me give me those jeans. This I'll give trade. I'll give you the shirt. Like, we're in freaking middle school again. Yeah, like, let's yeah. bring it back what? to the Nathaniel Green that? days. Like trading. Yeah. Remember that people used to trade outfits? Yeah. Yeah. Give me that Give me that stud belt. Remember the stud belts were a thing? Give me that stud belt, and I'll give you these true religion shorts. 
Uh, All right. That's a bad trade. That's a like, bad trade. Like Depending on <laughs> the condition of the shorts. That, <laughs> oh, true. They might have been jeans that just got cut up and turned into shorts. Oh, okay. DIY oh, yeah. True Religion yeah, shorts. That makes sense. Because not everyone could have afforded the True Religion shorts back then. Facts. You can find them at TJ Maxx and shit now. You know, really? Yeah, Edwin, shout out to Edwin. He said he bought a bunch of he True Religion some. this weekend. Hey. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> Well, Chief I just Keith outed him. Fuck. I just outed just him. Outed his, fa- <laughs> his favorite artist, Chief Keith. Yeah, got Chief Keith got a collab house. with True Religion why. ten years later. Oh so lord! Right they're there. trying to save the brand. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The fact that shit don't even exist at the mall no more lets you know. Yeah. 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 It's all. It's all like TJ Maxx and stuff. It's all. Um. What's it called? Recalled. Because mm. people are not buying it, and you could gotta you gotta buy it at discount know, price. Because people aren't buying it at full price. But Chief Keith does have that. Hundred fifty dollar pants yeah. and all them shoes were boot. In middle out of school, here. bro, use it. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Every time one hundred fifty dollars for some pants. <laughs> boot cut <laughs> jeans, boot cut looking man. ridiculous. They, they left a little Buddha tag on them. You look yeah. stupid. Oh no, no, this is really oh, bad. Man. You look so fucking stupid. Especially if you're stupid. wearing like the, those shoes that were skinny, like Converse. Like why the fuck would you wear your Converse <laughs> all the way tied up to the top? Yes. Which is like okay, if that's yeah. what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But you got fucking the boot cut jeans on top of it. These shit overlapping, bro. It's like they're not touching. They were overlapping. Your jeans. Going over your toes, it's just nasty, bro. <laughs> You're rocking around like it's like a disco in the '90s or the '80s. Like, God for, sorry, not the '90s. It's not the fun the '90s. I'm a '90s yeah, baby. Bro, You're a '90s, 90s baby. baby. Come on, it's not from the, the '90s. 90s. Yeah, yeah, that's not wrong decade. My bad. <laughs> um, you know, but yeah, that's that shit is is is, is long overdue. I think he definitely should have had a collaboration because I fucked with True Religion because of him and because people in school were aware. But because of True True Religion, he had a song. I think True Religion fiend. I forgot the the lyrics, but. Aside from him even having a song or not, he would just wear it. Visually, you see it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Chief Keef, True Religion, synonymous with the brand. Yeah. But 10 years later, they do give him uh, creative control now because he knows how to do graphic design. Chief yeah, Keef is very like, talented. Yeah, he does a lot of things. He does everything. He engineers, he produces, he does his graphic, he does his cover arts, mm-hmm. everything. He's very talented, right? He's very he's a legend, but I still feel like to some rate he's underrated, but it could be his fault because he doesn't really go and promote. He's not a talkative person. Yeah. You know, he allegedly has Asperger's, reckless. they say. So really? like yeah, he has Asperger's. So they say like that's something that, that he makes has. him even more genius, I feel like. That's the thing. We gotta give him his credit where it's due. <laughs> But that true religion deal, like, what's that bag looking like ten years later? Like, I doubt it's very big. Ugh. Like, you know, it's like unless they gave him a bag and taken that chance, hoping he revives it. Listen, if he does, that'll be glorious. Because people like, love nostalgia. Everything comes back. That's true. Like it's, the skull hoodies that I, uh, I've been wearing, the LRG skull hoodies. Now it's like a thing. People are wearing them again. Everything comes back. Nostalgia. But with true religion, is like everything now is kind of like probably. hem, like that style. Even though baggy was in like last, like two years ago, people try to wear the baggy. But it's like it didn't really come back, the baggy uh-huh. shit. Mm-mm. So, like, true religion, I don't know. They would have to kind of do some other shit. Unless they make them skinny. Mm. Or fit. You kind of will look crazy with some skinny jeans, true <laughs> religion. <laughs> Especially if they have, like, the white, um, what's that shit? Oh, the, the, the stitching. The stitching. <laughs> that's what they're known skinny for. Skinny jeans with yeah, big ass crazy. pockets. Yeah. Big ass pockets. Those <laughs> pockets were iconic that's with the horse triangle. horseshoe. That shit used to touch the back of your knee, bro. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, those big ass pockets. <laughs> You Jesus. can fit a whole laptop wow. in them fucking back pockets. Oh <laughs> it's just oh, yeah. massive. Your backpack. <laughs> just that right there. Damn, that what shit a time. Is, that crazy, shit is so crazy bro. because people liked it, but it's like if you think about it, that's just like cowboy aesthetic. That's mm-hmm. where it came from. Yeah. Like the cowboy aesthetic. And I think they started like with girl jeans. Like the first thing they ever did was like something like that, like girl jeans, but like it branched off from where that middle school sense. kids wanted true religion. Like it's crazy. Like we were part of that era, man. Shout out to that era throwback right there. Definitely. That's crazy. (laughs) (laughs) But speaking of artists, let's talk about the new releases this week. Um, Future's the biggest one. Breaking news as of today, they're saying that he sold 200,000 copies first week. I hate how they say that, but the first week hasn't even passed. Like, they estimated already. And that's also not a lot. Yeah. It's like, compared to, like, um, actually, let's look it up. What was, his last album was High Off Life. What was the High Off Life? What cover was that? It was like the bad, not the bad cover, but the bad quality. Like it was like shaking. You don't remember? <laughs> what was it doing? He was like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was like black and white, and he was like I know this. What you're talking about. And people oh. were like, "What is people this?" People started taking pictures like that. People started taking like this is the future, <laughs> and it's like, what is going on here? Yo, that's hilarious. And now it's like a thing. Girls post that like blurry, like they're moving, like it's and aesthetic, and it's like, bitch, you should just focus that shit. Why didn't you just focus that shit? What the fuck is going on here? A hundred and fifty three thousand. Okay. So close. Okay. But then last album arguably a lot of people were saying it was his worst. It wasn't um off of it, it didn't have like a lot of traction. Mm. I liked it a lot. 
They didn't have any singles either. So people confuse not having singles with it being exactly a right. And in this album, I have a lot of hot takes. I'm already getting getting canceled by his fans because I did the reaction and people are hating me because I per, like literally in the title is like questioning worst his worst album, Future's worst album. Because I really think it can be if you really go down the track list. There's 16 records, right? This album dropped. We love the f- song. The first song he dropped this year, Valentine's Day, the worst day. Got too yeah. many to please. Phenomenal, phenomenal track. Amazing song. Not on the album. Mm. So it's like, hmm, this is already a sign of either good or bad because he's going to give us fresh 16 new tracks. What is, why not that one? I know it's like a Valentine's Day record, but it's not called Valentine's Day. You can add it to the track list. I think it was good. We liked it. Everyone yeah. I know that fucks with Future liked it. Like, So why not? But it's like, all right. You'd have heavy uh, hitters on here, Drake twice. So then you get to the album. Thames is on the album. Thames on the album, on the song with Drake, which is like, oh, Drake already has hits with Thames, and Thames has their own hits. So it's like, it's perfect, right? What's going to happen here? But then when you get to the album, and it's like, to me, it's like, there's some strong-ass ones, but overall, it's like, damn, I don't really fuck with it. Like, I don't love it. And I wanted to love it. Yeah. But online, Twitter, classic album. Classic. Album of the year. Are you guys smoking crack? Definitely. I think they're now going by his last album. High, they're high off life. And they're listening to this album. How is this a classic? And how is this his best album? Like, are we being honest here? Classic uh, with only two or three days. Two or three days, that was a classic. Uh, album I, of the year. I, I personally don't think that is a bad album. I don't think it's bad, but is it a flawless masterpiece? No, no, like, no, is no, it no. like, oh my God. No. Well, if you compare it to his too. other work, it's his worst to me, in my opinion. That's what I feel and like. And I also am not a big Future fan, so I could be biased against him. But uh, I skipped a lot. I, I don't remember album. High Off Life at all. And that's that's very telling. That's telling, right? But then if you go off High Off Life, you go to High Off Life, listen to these tracks. My Valentine, I was trapped in the sun. I don't know if you what? remember that one. All right. Yeah. Okay, that was a bad example. That's a bad example. My no, bad. No, that's exactly how it sounds. Yeah, that's a hard. That's the first track. Hard as fuck, right? Um, second strong. High tech tech. That shit was hard. Um, touch the sky was hard. Ryan Strikers was hard. P- posted with them demons. You ain't did shit. I did. That shit was hard. Uh, but it's hard to choose one. That was like a low key hit. That like, that shit got was steam. It that one was. That was by himself. Was, oh. Co- uh, coincidentally, hmm. Trillionaire with NBA Young Boy. That was a big song. That got a lot of traction. A lot of streams. Bitch, don't get too comfortable. Oh, yeah, that was a hit song. Better that's, not get too that's, comfortable. That's, 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 that's the, the shit one. right there. That's oh, like yeah, a classic yeah. future track, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Life is good. I mean, come, come on. I got, I'm, so sick of of year, that. I'm so sick of that song. Yeah, but at that time, bro, we were riding around with some chubs. Like, we were going and getting hard <laughs> to that shit. That shit was hard. That's, <laughs> that's like the one. Like, mm. like if you were somewhere and that song didn't come on, well, you're not there. It was an incomplete night. <laughs> you're not there. Life was, and then a lot of people joke, uh, ever since they dropped Life is Good, life's been bad. <laughs> it's like goddamn, you guys are never fucking happy. That is true. America's depressed. So am I. Ne- uh, Tycoon was hard. Tycoon was hard. Accepting my flaws. You know, hundred shooters with Meek Mill. I think if it go, if you go by ratio wise, the percentages were better than this album because on this album, the only <laughs> songs I really fuck with, really, Puffin on Zooties. Yeah, I think it's a classic shit. future song. That's my shit, bro. I think that's the but song you see, of the year. You're calling it a classic, like the people on Twitter. The song, though, that's it's, my thing. It's classic already. Hell yeah, I think that song because it gives me um March Madness. It gives me like a a the classic vibe, like, yeah. like like yeah. like future. That's, that's, that's future's bread and butter, right? Yeah, like there. it covers mm. every mm. ground, and it reminds me of like that meme like they have like from Arthur, where like the chubbier guy in Arthur that's like a rhino. <laughs> Is he a rhino? The guy's like a rhino, <laughs> and he has like one. a button up. He's like a rhino. I know what you're talking. You know what I'm talking about? Is it Buster? And, like, he, and he puts his headphones on, and like he's like flying through the sky, and like he's like high. And they did it with like the <laughs> <laughs> they did it with like the early Gunna songs. I think the song with Gunna and Travis Scott and Astro World. I think that was like the first one they did that meme with. But this song reminds me of that meme. No, it's mm. definitely a standout record. On oh the my album. god! Definitely, and it's I like, didn't like this album, but that puff, one. Puffing on Zooties. Puffing on Zooties. Oh, I don't know what the fuck Zooties is, <laughs> but I'm puffing on it when I'm listening to that song. He's mentioning Cassie. So and I love Cassie. I always say, you know, zooted. Zooted, zooted up. Zooties. You know? Um, massaging me. Mm. Bitch massaging me. <laughs> when they know I'm yeah. getting get in check. So Bitch toxic. massaging me. I'm like, God damn. I want to go to the masseuse right now. I love that song. 
So the songs I like, I like. So it's like I'm not love trashing the album. Is, love you better to me is a love you better is growing love on me. Love you better is good. It's growing on me. But listen, bro. For me, I have chickens. Chickens Chick- is horrible. <laughs> no, that's yes, it shit. is. Chickens, chick. Chick. When ESTG comes on and he the, starts talking song, about that shit, the song with Gunna and Young song. Thug, biggest letdown ever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fucking not, horrible. Not. Uh, yes. Probably the on the album overall. I don't like it. But I'm trying to think if like is it the biggest letdown? Probably. Cause like the four nut hook is like annoying to me. It's like weird, doesn't sound good. The idea is already kind of weird. Like for a nut, it's like oh, we're getting nasty here. It was like I get it, it's toxic, but it's like, like do we not have no education at all? Like it's like we're just throwing our education out the window with this song, okay? But it's like ah, uh, he throws out his education out the window with every album. I feel like, but how do you mess up a Thames feature? Thames is supposed to be like the one of the hottest. Wait, you don't like Wait right for now. You? I like it. She mm-hmm. doesn't like it, right? A lot of people don't fuck with it, but uh, the majority do. I like it. The, the majority is, do. The thing is, Tem's Tem's part on it is one of her tracks already. Exactly. That's my thing, so right? So they're sample. sampling Tem's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm like, I heard this before. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's, this it's, exists. It's, it's it's from his, her heard. album. Yeah. It's, really? It's, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Higher. <sighs> oh. So it's like a fucking cheat code. Oh, with the burgundy cover. That's yeah. the better Drake feature yes. on the album than the other one. Yes, yes, it is. I'm on one. I'm good off that shit, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Because like Drake. Drake is doing, like, if you listen to that song, I'm on one. He's doing, he's like, bust down. Thot- That's the blue face shit. Like, why are we still quoting blue face Tatiana four years later? Like, yeah. you fucked with blue face at the time and you were going to give him a feature. That never happened. Why are we still? What? And then he mentions the album cover. He, he's, I mean, he, album title. He's kind of doing him a favor because blue face is, you know. Dropping. Listen, yeah. this is, he needs you that saw, Drake. You saw what he did recently? Blueface, he's, yeah. he's done a lot of shit. He's nasty. He's a nasty human. Yeah, he's a terrible person. <laughs> that's not what I was person. talking about. But <laughs> that's not what I was talking about. You got a girl pregnant or something? That is, I didn't even know that. That's not what I was talking about. Yeah, the girl with the, the with the girl we talked about before that she has um a gap, but a major gap, oh, not a artist, gap. Her tooth's out. The artist he signed. <laughs> you guys hate on her. I I find her. I can see it. Whoa. You ding the little I guy. can see it. Listen, that's a lot of guys' it. fantasies. You know, Listen. toothless girls. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying because of that. I'm oh, I thought you meant sexually. That. The head is huh? probably crazier. Like, <laughs> no no teeth, just straight no, gums. Bro. Yeah, because yeah. no, it's getting. one tooth, bro. She's missing one tooth. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, yeah. that shit gonna grip on time. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> so the freaking snapping turtle. Yeah, Get away from that woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's painful. Wow. That's painful. Like, Maybe blue face like Spain. Arrows into different shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that song, bro. Get, yeah. I don't. And then, then Holy Ghost is hard. Back to basics is okay. Isn't Holy Ghost the one he starts off with, like stepping on shoes or some shit? No, that's um Ghost Stacks. Okay. Step on niggas, I'm all fours, walls. He's like oh, on some country shit. Bro. At first, I, I I fucked with it, but now it's like it's like oh I can see where this can like be kind of tacky. But at first, I'm like. Go stacks like that shit was hard. The beat was hard, very bass heavy. But it's like we kind of gotta get give more credit to these producers, especially when it comes to his music. Because without these good ass beats, beats people wouldn't ash. really fuck with Future. Yeah. Especially yeah. if we're doing this sound. If he does like the singing sound, like he did on the Hendrix album that I loved, mm. I got, I got like, that's different. I got like eight songs off of that album. Really, out of sixteen. Half that's an F. Yeah, if you go to science class, that's they're going to grade that shit an F, bro. That's 50, that's 50 out of 10. That was bad. That's 50 out of that's 100. That's a 5 out of 10 but, if you but want But, hey, listen, lower. maybe that class isn't needed. It's just an elective. <laughs> <laughs> so nah. you need every credit to graduate. Listen. Huh? You need every credit to graduate, nah, you, though. You get the points. <laughs> <laughs> I think people are not being honest. This is arguably Future's uh, worst album. Solo album. So. The Juice World album I didn't fuck with. With him and Fu- uh, Future. I didn't like that album, the Juice World Future collaboration. What was it? It was one song, like what? Fine China. Fine China. No, there was, that was a, a couple banger. songs. There was a couple. Yeah. I have them. I have them. There's a couple it tracks, a but overall, I was like, oh, this is like, it's not really that great. Yeah. But off of his solo projects, I would say this is, this is arguably his worst album, and it's like his worst can be some people's best. It still has like those hard ass songs, like yeah. Ma- Massage. Yeah. Where I play that song so many times today, <laughs> puffing on Zooties. That's my shit, oh my bro. God, that's I've been trying to learn those I, lyrics so that's bad. The first I one wish I, put I could into feel the way you guys feel about his music, but it doesn't affect me at all. Listen, he's one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. What? Of all time, and like I've argued to myself, like in private, like I've been like, is this guy the best <laughs> ever to like ever talk words? Like I've I've had like my like future fan out moments, like when I play his old <laughs> shit, his mixtapes. Oh you, my god! You don't, you don't like the, the track with Kanye? Ever. 
No. No, trash. What? No. Especially towards the end, it gets you sloppy. See, I like I the like end it gets this sloppy. It's a weird transition. I like Kanye in this one more because he's finally talking not about his family. He yeah. is? No. Look at the lyrics. He is again. He's bringing up Kanye. Never, I don't like it no sure. more then. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he keeps doing that and it's like fine because that's what that he's going through. Sound like it to me. But it's like I don't like Kanye's he, Kanye feels too hypocritical right now or like contradicting. Like oh, careful, the hook is me. very like he's trying to mix in religion still, but he's really talking some street shit. So it's like sir. Careful, his, his stands are gonna kill you, yeah, Christina. They go, they go I am everything. a stand. <laughs> no, I'm not a stan anymore. I was though, but no. Listen, I don't know. his fans. I, fight I love and hate. I him. fight with them every day. Yeah, I love and hate his fans because it's like so weird. <laughs> That's fine. It's so weird. Like it's, it's like I get it, but it's so relax, fun, guys. Yeah. It's so fun. To Any me. fans? Because the future fans, like, like the future hype is real. I'm a part of the future hype, but you guys gotta be honest. This is not his best album. This is arguably his worst. And I put the question. I never even stated that it was. I was just question mark. And even in the video, I was like. This can be. Time will tell. Because time will tell, right? Mm -hmm. Who knows? But it's not a freaking classic nor the best album of the year. Stop that talk. Yeah. Shit gets me heated. <laughs> like, when it's obvious, it's like, no, guys. No, let's not do that. Definitely not. Let's not do that. So, Kendrick Lamar was estimated to sell 340000 They said last week. I don't know how they're estimating it. No single, no pre-order, no link, no cover, just a title. But they estimated that, right? Future sold 200000 what is your guys' guess? Predict first week sales for Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick? Go, Christina. I think he could easily do 500 plus because people are waiting. People are too hungry to to hear what he's been, you know, what he's been thinking, mm. what he's creating. Mm. And if Future's doing 200, then he's going to easily double that. Yeah. He could triple that. Mm -hmm. Think about it, if, especially if he comes you're out just, with visuals. You're just hating because of his fit. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I didn't say nothing yet. Relax, relax. Yeah, I, don't I don't have no know, take you, yet. This you, guy's jumping to my take. I didn't say nothing you yet. Sound, you look a little doubtful. I don't know. No, I'm letting her rock. I'm letting her rock. I'm letting her rock. <laughs> I'm just saying it's highly anticipated. But also, sometimes things that are highly anticipated fall short. They come a lot down. And so we don't but, know. But when has my man's let, uh, let us down? Never. Yeah. Never, right? That's true. Well, I mean, uh, that future is the perfect, perfect example. It's like you're waiting on that future album. So whether or not it's good... That's his fan base that's going to give him those first yeah, week but listens. Kendrick yeah, is a yeah. way better nah, so artist yeah, than Future. So I, I think like Kendrick is like with Drake, that he'll pull up 600,000, even more like up there to where they've been waiting so long that mm -hmm. Kendrick definitely will have at least and first week. And imagine what his feature, like we don't know anything. The feature could be nothing. great. The features yeah. could be insane. We don't know nothing. Or he could have nothing. Or he could have nothing. Like we just don't know. So you know everybody's going to tune Kendrick is just Kendrick. It's like Very even good. like the, even the, remember the Untitled album? Yeah. You can probably ask. Tape anything. Come yeah. on, bro. Or make, it was a mixtape. The unreleased shit. Yeah. People would like completely overlook that shit, but that shit's yeah. he's, he's, full of good ass stuff. People say he's the best he's of this generation, man. and you can argue that. I think he is. In mm -hmm. terms of catalog, like, he, he's very consistent. I think that argument will stand the test of time, depending after, after this release. Mm. This is going to be his defining moment. It's been five years, half a decade. People have been waiting. He knows people have been waiting. That's why it's called Mr. Morale. Like, he's literally playing into a specific, like, he could have titled it anything. It could have been one one word. It could have been a sequel, something else he's already dropped. When he has, like, a statement, like Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, he's aiming towards something, right? Mm -hmm. So he knows that people have been waiting. He said in that post last year, I haven't been on my phone in a couple months. I don't go on my phone in a couple months. He, he, didn't, he didn't say laptop, him. though. He didn't say tablet. <laughs> that motherfucker might have an iPad looking at everything. Find a loophole. Find a loophole. He said his phone. I haven't been on my phone in a couple months. <laughs> you didn't say laptop. He knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's not act like he don't know what's going He's on. He's definitely tapped in. He's tapped in. He has to be. Now his outfit choices, we talked about it last week. Let's not talk about it again because that was horrible. Um, <laughs> trash. That was horrible. I'm sorry. That was really bad. You saw it. You saw, you saw, yeah. Let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> uh, speaking of music, though, um, and also, it's going to be interesting uh, to even talk about that. I think we're going to have Wongo on. He's going to talk about it with us, that podcast episode, the Monday following that release. It's how many days now? 12 days from today. When does it drop again? The 13th. Wait, what's dropping? The, the Kendrick, Kendrick album. The oh, Kendrick damn, album. Yeah. that was fast. The okay. Kendrick album. Yep, and 12 days from today. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I am. I'm not going to hold you. What day is it so I can take that day off? Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 you got to take day. the next day off so you can listen to it. But well, knowing him, we don't know what's going to happen. Friday. We don't know if he's going to drop at it, midnight. Oh, it's on the 13th? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you don't surprised. think he'll do yeah. it tradition, traditionally? Who knows? He yeah, might not, bro. You know what it is? He might the, drop it. You know what it is that the whole week is going to be for him? The whole month, probably. Listen. The rest of the year. Depending mm-hmm. on how he goes yeah. about it. This might be a two-part out. We don't know what's really going to happen. He might drop a couple. We don't know. He's Kendrick. Though. There's no press he has release, a traditional like rollout. from the label yet. There's like a, it was just what he posted, but it hasn't been like an official. We'll see. You know, have high hopes though, because <laughs> I love music. Um, speaking <laughs> of music, um, I made this freaking clip go viral online. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go. I know it was gonna go viral. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I know it was gonna go this viral. Um, shout to Rondo, Italian drill artist, rapper. I saw a clip, I think, on Instagram. I tried to find it on Twitter. I'm like, no one's posted it on Twitter. Let me post this on Twitter. And sure enough, it I'm got 5 million views. Shit like this blows what? up on TikTok hard. Now nah, he owes you a check. <laughs> he, 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 retwe- he, 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 he tweeted me today, and I told him, check your freaking DMs because I made you hot. Um, <laughs> not really. No, nah, I didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Shout, <laughs> to, shout out to him, Rondo. Um, so I tweeted this, and look at this. Five million views and counting on Twitter. Wow. Free promotion to him yeah. from me. But it's like, I don't mind. It's, I think it was an interesting topic to discuss regardless. And it's like, people, the world had to see this, right? Mm. So I said, I just discovered drill music, Italy drill music. Whoa. And this is the song. Okay, so. Vamos a ver. He's going ham. He reminds me of some artist that's from like, what's that artist? He looks like him. Skinny from nine. He looks like Skinny from nine from New Jersey, the Hispanic artist that has was, now was, uh, failed his uh, career yeah, or something. It was some a shit. Hispanic artist, but it was, he was him. Like Mexican. Skinny from nine. Nah, it's not he had a beef with six nine years ago. Skinny from nine. He looks just like him. But um, so this guy right, the song is called Sturdy, and he's getting sturdy in the video, right? So now Twitter has taken it by storm. I made sure to post it neutrally without saying like I love it or hate it because I know people are going to have a reaction. And also at the same time, I don't want to get like flamed and shit. I was like, and then I feel like if you do it more neutral, like it's going to get more most traction, right? Just like my genuine reaction, like, whoa. Because if I were to be like, I love it, people are going to go, you love this? Why do you love this? Because that was the main thing. Now it's gone so viral that people are liking it. But the first retweets I was getting was people hating on it. Really? Um, yeah, because there's like, um, he's stealing our culture. He's still in American culture. He's still in oh, black culture. On. What is this? He's, there's Crips in Italy. There's drill music in Italy. But I look at it like this. When you watch this, does this give you fake in the funk vibes? Like, this looks genuine to me. Like, how many blue cars, like exotic cars, you saw that? Like, you can't, was that like, oh, let's paint our cars blue. Let's rent blue cars. Was this is blue. real deal. This is like some gang blue. shit like out there. Yeah. It might not be American crib. It might not even be crib. It might go by something else. But like this looks authentic to me over there. It's just a different culture, right? Mm-hmm. And drill music has existed in UK and Europe for years. Way before. Like, for way before like it got into like the even the freaking Axel, which I've DM. Shout out to Axel. Axel Beats, which you can kind of make like the source of this blowing up in America, the drill shit, especially the New York sound, was because the beats he would give the pop smoke. He was pop smoke, um, his early producer until this day, like mm. the classic pop smoke songs are produced by Axel, right? Axel's from the UK. And like those beats were the beats that everyone now to this day copies and when they want that sound because it's like it was so different. Not different from it had a, a slight enough difference from the Chicago drill. Yeah. That gave it a new sound, like a fresher type of vibe. And people have rocked with it. And it was because of Axel. And he's from the UK. So it's like, 
when we're saying these things, like, and if you look at it, it's more of like the New York aesthetic rather than the Chicago aesthetic. Mm-hmm. So the New York aesthetic, it didn't start there, obviously, but who freaking like, who did they take from? They took from this and like the Europeans. And okay, so yeah. it's like, we have to like do our research before stating the, stating this shit online. People just sound ignorant, but I get it. Like you want to protect yourself, but it's like, uh, calm down. And like, why do you want to, you want to rep America now? Don't you hate America? We like, this is a corrupt country, but you want to rep it. Cause this guy's still in our, it's not even yours. It's not even our culture. Like everything in this world has already kind of existed. Like it's hard to yeah. be purely unique. Like people are going to, everything's gonna, recycled. Everything's yeah. recycled. And at the same time, this shit's hard. <laughs> like, if you listen to that, it's just hard. Like, you think it's going to get 5 million views on my Twitter if it's not hard. That's yeah, hard. If and it was pure trash, it's not going to get that much of attention. And honestly, if we watched it on without the sound, it just looks Aesthetically, like this is really their life. Like, there's so much blue. I've never seen... My God, i never seen that much blue in my life. The most, the, When's the last time I've seen that much blue? Like, maybe, like, Willy Wonka when that girl, like, <laughs> ate the fruit and she turned oh blue. Oh, my God. And it was, everything was blue. i never seen that much blue in my life. Never me Or maybe what was that guy from uh, Imaginary Friends on Cartoon Networks, b- oh, the blue guy? Yes, that's a good show. Mm-hmm. His name was Blue. His name was Blue. <laughs> I've never seen as much blue. And it's like, I thought the camera had, like, a blue tint. And it's like, no. There's just blue everywhere. We got blue smoke. We got blue flags. We got blue shoes. We got blue, blue chains, blue yeah. outfits. We got blue cars. And they're dancing Everything. like us. Like, they sturdy. got rhythm. Getting sturdy. That's and the, the song, song is called Sturdy. Yeah. And he's called Rondo. And remember, I think he's in jail. Or did he pass away? Rondo number nine, the Chicago artist. Remember the, the older Chicago artist? I think he did mm. Chicago drill, Rondo number nine yeah. um, from back in the day. That was last year, right? Well, I think his case or something was recent. Um, but he was around years ago during the like the come up of the Chicago music scene. But like coincidentally, his name's Rondo. The song's called Sturdy, so he knows what he's kind of doing. But I don't think he's stealing or trying to be disrespectful. Like this guy, hip hop has influenced every pocket of the world. Though you can't say he's stealing. There's hip hop in the Philippines, in DR. There's everybody does their own thing. Look, we at gotta K-pop celebrate even. this. I feel like we gotta celebrate it rather yeah. than go look down on it. Like, oh, they're stealing from us, bro. The clap impact. it up. Because this is showing the effect that this shit has everywhere. You know, I literally, I told them, I'm like, yo, you going you gonna to get a deal or something? You got to give me some percentages. <laughs> because I feel like a label, even an American label looks at that now. If he's not signed already, he might already, who knows? Because I know he has a couple other tracks that have gone viral. The video was good, though. He but not to this budget. level. Yeah, this video was crazy. This was like his biggest moment. I think he said it like in an Instagram post. Like he's like, we're going to go viral again. But thanks to me, now you have the biggest, most viral moment ever that you've done. And I think his prior stuff, like, he remixed, like, I think, like, a five-year track. Like, he's done, like, drill remixes, but this mm. is his pure, like, song, his thing, his everything. Um, and it's just impacting. It's, like, the number one thing on Twitter, you know. So I got to do, I'm going to do, like, a reaction to it, too, as well, because it's going to get to that point where people are, like, just going to react to, like, Italian drill, because it's going to be, like, the face of that Italian drill music. Um, Amer- American English. reacts to Italian drill. You say what? He's when he talks English, does he have an accent? A little bit. Maybe he's not even Italian. Maybe he was, like, raised in Italy. I don't know. I was, like, uh, not Googling, uh, searching on Twitter, and some people from Italy were like, Rondo's the worst thing to happen in Italy. So he might be controversial out there. Like, maybe he's actually Mm. causing violence or, like, he's a part of that scene. I have no idea. Um, If we do interview him, that'll be interesting to get that perspective. Um, But I don't know. I just think musically, if we're just judging judging the music, Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, bro. Like, that's impactful. Like, you look at that and it's like, whoa. It reminds me of, like, when 6 9 dropped Gummo. Like, all these moments, Pop Smoke, Welcome to the Party. It's the same type of moment where, like, you see this one visual, this one song, and that one beat drop, and this one dance. And it's like, whoa, shit. And it's just impactful, you know? So shout out to him, Rondo, sturdy, going viral everywhere. Um, I was shocked. I knew it was going to go viral, like I said, but, bro, so, look, earlier it was 4 million. Now I got a million in a couple hours. It's like wow. people are picking it up like crazy. And as of yet, no one's posted it. Like, um, Academics hasn't posted it. Shade Room. But tomorrow's Monday. Uh, by Tuesday, See. everyone's going to post it. Because it's like, it's hard not to talk about that shit. Like, that shit is everywhere. You know. But shout out to Rondo. Um, <clears throat> give me some credit, boy. <laughs> Don't forget about me, man. Um, <laughs> moving on to the next topic. Um, very controversial to many. Bad Bobby? It's spelled Bad Baby. But I think it's not Bad Baby, right? It's Bad Bobby? Not bad baby. You sure? She just spells it like that, but I've heard baby. Well, bad baby. shit, I don't know. But I know her name was um Danielle, right? Her legal name's Danielle. Mm-hmm. So Danielle, 
<laughs> she turned the age of 18, I want to say 2021. And from the moment she turned 18, she started an OnlyFans account. And she shared in his online public, let's look at this right now, her actual income from the actual OnlyFans account that she has created. And if you zoom in right here, look at this freaking number, right? Total gross, $52 million, 892000 and 900 and basically 53. You can round this shit yeah. up. Round this shit up. Damn. 53 million dollars, right? Wait, but she got she got taxed though. Yeah. So really that's how much That's what she is. netted, right? <laughs> that's that's, that's like a Drake bar, no? <laughs> <laughs> I said that like it makes a yeah. difference. <laughs> yeah. That's a Drake bar. He's like, like um it's so yeah. it's so nasty how much I gross or is something netted blah blah blah. Drake has a line for everything. But here we see the tips. <laughs> he got she, a 200,000. She got taxed 10 mil, bro. Shit. Yeah. Well, it depends what state she's in also. If she's in, um, well, she might be in Cali. I'm assuming L.A. because everyone's like a creator in L.A. But if she's like in Texas and stuff, like she might be eating she, more. She made more money off of messages. So she's sucking crazy in those. Yeah, games. right. Twenty five million <laughs> off the messages. <laughs> right. And this yeah. is crazy to me because my idea is this. Right. I'm, I'm assuming probably messages is like is like like you could probably ask for like specific stuff. Wait, like, well, like, yo, mm, say my name real quick in a know. sentence. Yo, like, yeah. you don't be on, you don't be on only fans. You know how it works. You think I'm gonna pay for <laughs> fucking? To just, come on, bro. Point is, Go on. point is free. That Man. was just <laughs> the fuck out of here, bro. Listen, and we were talking about it earlier before recording this idea of her being 18 and like the nasty men, predators coming and like, oh, it's a young oh. one that we can finally now see legally, right? Same, bro. And it's just like I really want to understand this because it's very confusing. Like I really think that this just feels wrong. It feels wrong. It feels like it's a sign of something bad. At the same time, I want everyone to grind, get their money. You know, she's not out here like predators come here. She's not literally saying that like predators, you're welcome. It's just she's like taking advantage. She's just taking like, advantage. Like it's gonna happen. Really Want to see her? Like that's crazy. Exactly. That's and insane. her fan base tends to be her age, especially with her music and stuff. Ever since the Dr. Phil situation, she still has had a following and still has a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. She's very viral with her posts and everything. Um, she has her fan base, right? So they might tap in to check this out. Maybe not to see her naked, because I guess. She's not really naked, because I would have seen them. Like they always <laughs> post that on Twitter, bro. They post, yeah, they yeah, leak. Somebody definitely, definitely would have seen it. I would have seen it because they somebody post definitely. people's OnlyFans when it leaks, it's like famous it's people. Probably just like like, uh, uh, what a, just like bikini stuff. And shit. Probably oh. like I don't think she's like out like here cleavage. like. Or it's just exclusive. Here's stuff. my vagina. Fans. I don't know because if it's that, bro. Oh like my a Patreon. God. And she also doesn't give a fuck, right? Because we saw that with the Doctor Phil. She don't give a yeah. fuck. And it's like, oh, kudos to you. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, what are you influencing? Are you influencing other 17-year-olds who are now becoming 18? Like, hey, mm. we could do OnlyFans and get money because she did it. And she's showing it to us like, this is like one of the biggest, maybe one of the, she's probably one of the top earners on this actual like platform. Of that year, though. And we've seen like, who was it? Um, Ruby Rose, I think, showed it recently. She said she made like a million in a month before. Like, there's creators and like young video vixens, IG models, I guess now this age, this that a generation they call them, that they go on OnlyFans and they make bank. You know, they eat off it. They they they're set for life. But fifty plus million dollars. That's a lot of money, bro. We're talking like athlete numbers. We're talking like, like, I think Ben Simmons made um thirty million this year for doing nothing. Fucking bum. Bench. Did nothing. <laughs> he sat on a fucking bench and made nothing. And it's like mental health, yes. But then the last couple games, my back hurts. That's not fucking mental health. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? You haven't even been playing. How did he break your back? His back hurts because he's been sitting, bro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> stretch, <laughs> buddy, stretch. stretch. <laughs> $30 million guaranteed, and next year he's going to get it again if he... Yeah, Let's not talk crazy. about that. So she beat Black China's record of $20 million. Wow. 20, uh, well, no, that's just, this is 2022. Okay. But Black China's up there. But Black China, look at her now she, with the court case with Rob Kardashian, yeah. and she's saying she's losing money, she has no money, et cetera. You know, so... You know, she didn't invest that properly, whatever. But this girl had made damn near triple Black China's money. And it's like, you can argue Black China's more, more famous. Because more famous, Black yeah, China's been around for a while. That. You can argue that. Like, we've known Black China for and years. She's also an adult. She's an adult. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, this bad baby shit has taken me, like, through a fucking ringer. I'm like, God That's damn, this is cr this number. Because I think she said it and people didn't believe her. So she posted the she proof. To post it. So it's like, damn, she's not lying. Here's the fucking proof. And it's like. And she didn't even do um, 
So she didn't make no money from posts. She didn't make no money from referrals. She didn't make no money from streams. Imagine she goes live stream on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. How much money she can make on that. So she hasn't really exploited the app to the mm -hmm. fullest ability. Not an app, because I think it's not an app. It's just a website. Um, how do I know that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who you subscribe to? <laughs> I know, right? Nobody, nobody. <laughs> Myself. Um, Myself. You know, so it's like, damn. And then people joke like, I should start OnlyFans. I should start one. And it's like, if you do it tastefully, you can do it where you don't mm -hmm. show skin. And it's like the same shit you post on Instagram, just post it here. People are thirsty. They'll pay because they don't know what they see. Like, what is this? I want to pay to see this, right? And if you pay subscriptions, a lot of people forget to cancel, just like a Netflix account. So they yeah. stay making money off of you. And that's like a wave, like pay to see, pay to pay, uh, pay to play, pay to watch, a paywall. So she's providing this. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I personally do not give a fuck. I wouldn't pay to see mm. freaking 18-year-old bad baby, Um, how she looks like. I don't, that's not my for. No, no. I'll no. pay for Sis's OnlyFans. Scissors only fans? Most definitely. Even if she's just breathing. Scissors is very sexy. <laughs> let me very let me sexy. get that and log in if you do. Oh my <laughs> god. Scissors is beautiful. Scissors is beautiful. I'll pay fifty dollars. Scissors is beautiful. Because my thing is like I have no like truthfully, especially as older I've gotten, I really don't have like if a girl wants to like show her body and like do certain things like that, it's like it doesn't phase you. It doesn't phase me. Like, you know, that's her decision. But then as someone who is still a teenager, it's like doing that. It's like, whoa. And I see my sister literally turn. She's the same age. Like, it's like so weird to me. It's like, what is going on? Like, yeah, is, is this generation gonna steer towards that? I don't want that to happen. They're they're getting money. They're trying to get money by any means. This generation, they don't care what it takes. They do they anything for clout. Rich, the clout yeah. yeah, they do anything for clout. I mean, mm -hmm. think about it, man. You gonna get that much bread just for showing skin? True. It sounds hella easy. We were born naked. So Adam and Eve. <laughs> we were all naked. A lot. Clothes is kind of new. Clothing well, is kind of new. We didn't know we were naked at one point until they ate the apple. So mm. technically, you know, it's different. Bring now out the Bible. Where's the Bible? Where's the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> if society <laughs> didn't say that being naked is so weird, we yeah. would never think it's weird. But it is just your body. That's true. A bunch of niggas walking around chubbed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's sick. Oh, man. God bless. Is that why they call it the job corner? Because they're uh -huh. chubbing up chubs? Nah. Oh, no, you I don't know. know. They switch up the definition every week. I don't know what's going nah. on. Let me this is too chubby. Listen, for no. y'all yeah, don't know what the <laughs> chub corner stands for, y'all need to hit the chub corner. Yeah. Whoa. What? Boss. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's how you motherfuckers go find out. You got to take a visit to the chub corner. Take a train to the chub corner. Ooh. Stop you know out. Stop by. You know what by. it is that the going to become a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A trend? Not a, a trend. No, no, a nightclub. No. He's trying to have a <laughs> spin off. <laughs> <laughs> a nightclub. The chub, yeah. chub corner. Open chub, all chub hours of the day. Listen. Happy hour, every hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's good marketing. <laughs> mm, Rhode Island, don't give them a happy hour. It's 24-7. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. But um, moving on. By blue <laughs> Yo. The, the blue chew. Get the bag. <laughs> Speaking of women, um, Fresh and Fit relationship podcast they've gone viral in the past for quote-unquote being canceled right but they're still around they're still going strong um shout out to myron and fresh they've gone viral again for this clip right here that we're about to play of them being i guess sh people are saying drag put in their place however you want to interpret it by the they're not the one, same I think, uh, australian radio show i want to say i think that's what it is um but here we have it right here Men and women are not the same. Women like attention, men want sex. So my thing is a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. You're actually saying that in a relationship, it's okay for men to go and explore other options, but we have to be happy with you and not explore options. Absolutely. Close on your end, open on my end, and I think it should be honest Why? between the two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would crazy. anyone agree to that? You, you can't just yeah. go throwing that thing around. Yeah. I spoke I spoke to Dan I spoke to Dan. I spoke to Dan Balsarian. Yeah, I'm sick of you asking to finish your long, boring answers that are the same answer every time we ask you a question. Even Dan Balsarian last week well, told me to show. my face, so f what clown here you are on the show i can turn you off as well just turn these clowns off see you fellas grow up ring us back when you're 30 and you've got half a brain you're not running around being led by your own dicks bye bye see, see you later turn bye. them off Yo. so there we 
<laughs> I, mean, I feel like that's exactly how they should. I be. feel like that's how Marlon yeah, would have reacted if, if we interviewed Very them. Very necessary. Yeah, that would have been Mar- that's Marlon right there if, if we would have had them on here. Thrown out the fucking window. Listen, especially um, how they've been. They've been asking for that. Like it's by time uh, somebody finally said something like that. Because my thing crazy. is this, right? They have their own opinion, which they're all they're all entitled yeah, to. Yeah, they're entitled to it. But you know how fucking stupid you. It's sound just saying uh, yeah, that people shit? and that's people are gonna react how they're gonna react. What the fuck, bro? This guy got so pissed that he, like. I'm not sure if he's known for this. If you're Australian and you watch the show, you, you're a fan of his, German, comment on below. I don't know how they are, but it's, to me it seems like he probably is not typically like that. And he like got so heated, it's like, get him off the show, right? And it's like, it's not hypocritical in a sense. It would have been hypocritical if they kept him on and were still mad at them. But if he's like, you brought us on here, we could take you off and get off, right? They are using this clip now for promotion, though. That's the thing. They posted like two clips from this interview, of that course. show. But at the same time, it's like, I would too, because it, it it helps. Like it's my show, you know, and it's, it's like my content. it's not yeah, it's not um, self uh, selfish or tacky. It's your content. This actually happened, and it's rather them clip it and post it in someone else, because whoever watches is gonna do the same shit, and they're gonna eat off it. So might as well do it for your own show, right? So this shit is gonna blow up because of that. Um, but at the same time, it's like I agree with being against their that statement of that if a man does that, a girl like a girl like. You can't be one sided with that shit. Like that's yeah. that's yeah. stupid. That, that that he sounds like he just he lives by the stereotype. But I like, think it's like they're pushing me, buttons. Like that's what on the, purpose. like that's what men are supposed to do and shit like that. Like like a manly man, bro, like we like, rule the world like and fuck king, girls. Can, like he's a legit king that like that's it. Everything got to be towards him. I, f- I feel like that guy don't get pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He does supposedly. He does a lot. I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't know. I don't know. I I Congrats, I know. just think it's like Men and women think the same. Like, if a man can have options, he said basically, I think this is like an old conversation. I think we're way past this conversation. But, like, that a man can have sex with other women and not be emotionally attached. Women can do that, too. Yeah, because the idea of um, when men cheat is not emotional, but when females cheat is, and um, that's they, they tie emotions to it. Like, men just fuck to bust a nut and then they leave, but, but a girl but does it and so it's like they fall in love. Though, yeah, that, I was going to say. They're tying into the fact that women are always emotional. Yeah, and it's like, you, mm-hmm. to, stay, to say that and then not hear the opposite is one thing, but if, like, I've heard the opposite. Like, I've heard girls, like, they do that. Like, they've, they they, I know, I know whole gone. men. I have friends that are whole girls. They do their thing with guys, whatever, quote unquote hoes, whatever. God bless them. And I have friends, guys that do the same shit. And they're hoes too. They're hoes. But it's like, I would never say like, oh, guys. No, you're proven wrong already. Mm -hmm. You can't speak in literal sense when there's actual literal evidence that goes against it, right? And you can't stand by it fully to an extent where you're talking to someone and it's like the conversation, they're adding perspective. And you're like, no, that's not that. Like, that's not how it is, right? I do think that they should have at least let him finish his statement. But they got so heated. I don't know. Fuck that. I think so, though. At least. Nah. He probably what, did what, his what research What was he going to say, bro? You know, that's the thing. I want to see what he was going to say. what was he going to say? I want to see what he was going to say. We know what he's going to say. Already the way that it started is like, you're wrong. Like, you sound so fucking yeah. stupid, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. You already started it. Are you going to fucking explain that now? No, I didn't, I didn't mean all men should do it. This, this. Shut the fuck up! Yeah. You you still pretty much <laughs> saying that men can do it and women can't. So like, what? what you already uh, said the words that you could yeah, say. Yeah. So what the fuck? Yeah, I would I would love um. Yes, I look at the the fuck, no, no, no. Oh. I would love to have have <laughs> them have them on. Uh, that'd be hilarious. It's almost Mar- like Mar- they're Mar- Mar- have, have, have them through Zoom because Mar- Mar- like don't push the, throw a throw. That's my thing. I feel like they're trolling. Like they literally have to be trolling. Like there's no way you could be this dumb. Yeah, or or just even like if you have a uh, opinion, that's fine. But be open to uh, he just, he just, he just, reinterpretation. He just really stands by what. But they the fuck live he, and stand he, by he what think, they want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but a lot of guys walk around dumb, like for real. No, oh, yes, no, 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 I know some. I know some. You know, <laughs> and I don't even date guys. So imagine if I did. What like, does that have to do with anything? Bro? <laughs> moving on. Uh, someone that they're <laughs> saying potentially, tra- tra- <laughs> potentially dates guys. The number one story in Dominican Republic. The number one story oh, is Spanish this news. Is crazy. This story, I, like I saw it when it originally was first posted. And I was like, oh, it's crazy, you know, I but sent, crazy shit happens online. I sent this to my coworker because I'd be, I be joking around that he's a little sus and shit. <laughs> yeah. so I was like, bro, they caught you. <laughs> oh, I was like, man. They caught you, bro. But I was like, you know, I saw this. I'm like, okay, this is, this is like, wow, this is a lot to take in. But it happens online. You see, like, things go viral. But then the next day, 
a Poder 1110, uh, the local radio station, Univision. Univision. I'm like, wait a minute. The uh, biggest you know. news story yeah. in Spanish culture. The Hispanics pick all this shit up, bro. It must have been like a late, uh, uh, slow news week for Spanish news. I don't know what happened, but. Nah, you, you know that that, when it comes to, like, sexuality, that's, like, huge. They love mm -hmm. it. Because, you know, especially because they're, like, it's, it's you're a guy, you got to be with female, you're a female. You gotta yeah, they want to, like, have this, this, this stereotypical like, homophobic like, energy you know no, and, like, keep that shit. Well, when you be showing you, you don't hear, like, cheating scandals and shit, like, like. Random people and shit like that. Yeah, like, you only hear celebrity guys. Yeah. I, I saw that shit on TikTok. Eso es lo que tú eres, aqueroso. This is the clip. <laughs> Mírate. She's a little girl. Sucio, metiéndose a un maricón. Eh? Crying. crying. Me va a dar. Dame ven para que haga 30. Para que haga 30. This is the hardcore. Eso es 30. I know these women. This is the hardcore. Aqueroso. Aqueroso. Así mismo. Con un maricón singando al frente de su casa, al frente de su hija. That's crazy. ¿Eh? She's like, tell the neighborhood. I think I heard like a little neighbor, like, what happened? Uh -huh. She's like, no, I, I found him. Este video va para todas las redes. Para todas las redes, asqueroso. Y en la casa tú no vas a entrar hoy. <laughs> He's not Ese allowed in the house. Con un maricón Today. rapando ahí. Con un hombre igual que él, asqueroso. Los dos con el huevo grande, que es su Oh, they both have big dicks. I never caught that moment until now. With their dicks out? What's going on? How does she know this? <laughs> she Yo lo grabé a los dos. What the hell? Para las redes Maybe she made like the sucio. phrase like, right. they have some balls. Yo limpié todo el pantaloncillo, aqueroso. Yo manteniendo esa casa, sucio viejo. Sucio. Pa que me pague así. Another clip that follows this, but I'm not going to play it. Let me stop it before it gets eh? to that. Because it shows like the girl, the, da the daughter's face. I don't want to show the daughter's face. Si. Sí. Okay. Well, um, you, get the, you get the vibes, right, of what's happening here. Um, surface level is like, okay, this man was caught cheating with another guy, and I guess he was potentially... Um, in broad daylight. In broad daylight, in the middle of the day, right? In front of his house. In front of his house. Yeah, that's crazy. And potentially he was gay on the down low. This might have been his first experience. We don't know the full details, right? But then, after this, everyone's made it a clout gain. Like, I follow all the uh, Spanish um, major news news places, like the YouTube channels, uh, Instagram ch uh, pages, and they've all been interviewed. The woman was interviewed. The gay gentleman was interviewed. Um, or I guess she, it's a she because she goes by as a name. Transgender, then. Might be, but I know that she, she says she and her name is La, Ki La Cuca. La Cuca. Oh. Almost like Cucaracha. Like a, oh, she's a personality. Kuka is another word. It's like for a pussy. scary person, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Pussy? yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. La cuca, the pussy. La cuca. Mm -hmm. So la so cuca. She's out here. She's out here. La cuca. La cucaracha. <laughs> you know. And this gentleman also got interviewed. After all of them, after after everyone else got interviewed, but the, like, la cuca's not taking no more interviews. She said you got to pay me five hundred dollars to get interviewed. <laughs> I might pay la cuca that five hundred. I'm, I'm gonna see how what happens. That's but, not a bad price. Yeah, that's not a bad price. We might make it work. I think we will make that back, la cuca. Um. <laughs> But <laughs> she go one more than the interview. <laughs> she might want to uh, hug. Be Listen, I'll hug her. I don't care. That's nothing. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. But when it came to the idea of the gentleman being interviewed that got caught, oh man, this interview was horrible. He's <laughs> such a he just seems like a bad person because the whole thing is this, right? He, first of all, it seemed like he's just lying. Like he's like, his story is that he got caught, but he wasn't doing nothing. That he gave La Cuca a ride from the club because he's a promoter. So he gave her a ride to, Bro, to the house. You're in the floor with your pants at your knees. No, but listen to this. The, the, the reason he's on the floor. No, listen to this. Oh, I, listen to this. I, I, I. The reason on the floor is because I guess she pulled him out, whatever. But the reason his pants were off, according to him, was that he was drunk. But if you watch the video, you see that he's like very like drunk high. He's very like he doesn't have a consciousness. Mm -hmm. He's not really fully him, which is I could. He has a valid statement with that. But I think he's using that statement to now back everything else up. Because he said that he took a piss on the way there as like a friend's house. And he has evidence no. that he stopped somewhere. <laughs> but if you look at the car, it's like fully he parked. Caught. He got like caught. how are you double park? Is that called double parking, right? Yeah. How are you double parking? Well, when you're parked next to a parked car. Or like when you're parking between two cars. What's that called? Parallel, parallel, parallel parking. Park. Yeah. How are you parallel du parking double drunk? Parking. Double parking is, is when you park on the side. Wait, no, like no, how no. New Yorkers do. When you got, when you got two spots. That's yeah. double parking. Yeah, just, How are you yeah. parallel parking? Like, aren't you drunk? Like, but from the and then from the time from the piss 
to where you parked at. Come you on, haven't um, you're you lying, haven't buckled bro. your pants, on, bro. bro. You've and been then you can yeah. see your, your La Cuca bo- putting her jacket on. Your, oh, box, yeah, man, your yeah. boxes are down. What are you? A five year old in elementary school yeah, yeah. and you pull down your shit to your ankles? <laughs> Come uh, on. No, no, that's Fuck bad. Out of here, bro. Yeah, you just nah, lying, you, bro. You took it in the ass. <laughs> and if that's what you're into, that's fine. I think he was Get ahead. head at least. Oh, give it ahead. No, like he was. Oh, he's giving. Having sex with He wasn't receiving. He was giving. Yeah. Regardless, he was with the cuca. He, fought, yeah, he got this. caught doing some he crazy He got cuca shit. that day. He, if you listen to the interview, <laughs> if you listen to the interview, um, it's like, I don't want to judge nobody, but just objectively looking in from that, you know, no, understanding judging. that world, nobody right? Nobody judging, nobody judging. If you listen to him, to me, he sounds like he could potentially be, you know, gay, right? Obviously. Like, from his, the way he's just talking, and I'm like, and I'm, th- I'm thinking, like, he's going to talk about his, like, he's gay. The whole video, though, is not that. Like he was almost homophobic with it. Like he's like, no, himself. like I like I love like people know I love pussy, blah blah blah. I go crazy for pussy, blah blah blah. It's like, whoa, <laughs> what are you talking like about? Like trying to be overly like trying straight. to be overly straight. Like you're forcing it here, right? And also he's a promoter, so he's like, I yeah. think this Sunday they had a club event, and he's like, yeah, I'm doing an event with La Cuca, <laughs> blah blah. And like we're like we're doing a uh, uh, hosting, and like they're getting money because of this. Oh, he been slamming that. So it's like this <laughs> is disgusting, bro, 100%. because like you don't care about your family, you don't care about your daughter, like you just want to just. Ride this clot wave, but you don't care about fixing what's at home. No, yeah. no, he's definitely gonna ride it. <laughs> or like <laughs> speaking your truth, or like if that's your, oh man, I caught that now. God bless. <laughs> yeah. the, the, what bothered me was the homophobic tones through everything. Like yes, the fact that he cheated is bad enough. Yeah. Like you didn't have yeah. to no, go ahead and yeah, say no. the gay slurs and say oh you two big dicks like. I understand yeah. she's hurt. I know that feeling. When you catch someone cheating, the adrenaline in the blood that boils. Mm. Ooh, Let alone right something now. that you didn't know, the opposite sex. You're yeah, like, that's hurtful. I understand that. But the Dominican community is so homophobic. homophobic. It's Very homophobic. so crazy. But then and at the same time. why the little girl? Yes. And at the same time, there's mad gay Dominicans. Like a extreme, like uh, a, there's a community in DR. A very high amount, right? And that's fine, but it's like there's like a weird dichotomy of like the homophobic, but then, but then if you watch the video fully, I don't want to play the clip where the girl shows the daughter's face. La Cuca was recording from her angle, La Cuca's mm-hmm. angle, and she did show like La Cuca love. She was like, and to be honest, nothing against you, blah blah after. blah, blah, blah like after, head, right? Yeah. Like she's caught herself and it's like, let me not be mad at, let me be mad at this motherfucker, right? Because he's the one, blah, blah, he's my man. And it's true. But it's just a very like, and like we had to talk about it because like it was so big, especially in the Spanish news. But at the end of the day, it's like that guy's a clown. When you watch that interview, bro, he's such a clown. Like this whole clout chasing shit. Like if it's just like your situation and like you were maybe outed, which is disgusting. Like you know, unfortunately you were gay. Now this is how the world knows. Mm-hmm. Similar to the Isaiah Rashad situation. Mm-hmm. Very similar, actually. It's like damn. That sucks if that's the situation. But this guy is riding the clout way. He doesn't give a fuck. Acting like he's not really gay. He's like very wow. weird, weird about the story. He could bank off the gay community if he was smart. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, bro, fuck it. If, if you're gay, just say it, bro. Like then you, you know how much traction you're going to get after? Oh, come on. Bro. Anywhere he goes, that, yeah. they're going to think he's just gay now. Like, mm-hmm. no matter what. Like, you are, even if you're quote unquote not, like you say, we go by your words, you're still gay to everyone else because people saw that clip and it's like it's going to live online forever. Right. Well, some yeah. guys say a mouth is a mouth. No, nah, I don't know. There's a difference between the two. <laughs> you're both smiling over there. I don't nah. know if you're happy. It or is the chub corner. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what fucking guys you talking about. <laughs> He's wild. Man. Right. Listen, Listen. I, I no hate against people who was with that nah, shit. You, you know love who saying? you love. Yeah, I respect it. <laughs> Oh, cool, whatever. You love who you I love. I love the progressiveness. Not over here, <laughs> After though. the homophobia. <laughs> Not over here, though. We're, we're, we're progressing in the society. Listen, there might be instances where people get some head in the dark. They're in a club, and, and there's a guy. Know. You don't know. Not over here, because we don't go to the club, really, and we haven't had no instances that I know of at nighttime where we don't see the person really much. But this is this probably is happening. Like, it's happening right now with Benzino, Coyle Ray's dad. <laughs> Benzino, like, these are being accused of this and this and that with a transgender. And, like, people don't even want that accusation. But it's like, if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But let's not go homophobic with it. Right. Like, where it's right. like, that would maybe never happen. And who knows? I mean, surgery nowadays is insane. Some. It might happen without you knowing. That's my thing. Yeah. yeah. And then if you enjoyed it afterwards, what do you do? What do you do? You just have to be honest. You know, God forbid you, you fucking. You should have said, hey, I didn't know it was a man. 
That's what he should say. He's like, like, cuca me agarró. La cucaracha me moldeó. Like, nah, be like, damn, I fell in love with la cuca. Is, it's okay. Is, did they show la cuca? What does the cuca look like? I look like a man. Not a That's not like a man. It looks like a man. Looks like a cucaracha. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a cockroach. And it's broad God daylight. Bless. It's broad daylight. You won't tell me you didn't see caught that. Caught in 4K, bro. That's that it. 4K? Like, that was 8K? <laughs> yeah. I saw that man's pores. Two angles and that <laughs> shit too. Yeah. yeah, that was like high def, high def, yeah. bro. You know, but um, speaking of another cucaracha. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, this gentleman right here, we have our history with, um, you know, Pete yeah, Davidson. crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, has. Yeah, you can't see it too, too clear. Yeah, let me camera. try to get at the best angle of this. On his it neck, dark. K. Yeah. N S yeah, you can't see S- the camera. You, uh, overlap it in the editing. Okay, K N S. What time? Market. Uh, uh, one twenty. One twenty. Okay. So on his actual neck, we have him saying, or I don't even know how to interpret this because people are saying that this was it is hasn't been confirmed, right? But for some background information, Pete Davidson, right? He's dating Kim Kardashian. <laughs> we all know that the situation with Kanye West. Kim Kardashian said on Ellen DeGeneres that Pete Davidson is the type of person to journal his life through his tattoos. Through that, we have a very controversial moment already where he has tattoos of Kim. Uh, My girlfriend's a lawyer. I think that's one of the tattoos, right? Her name somewhere else. And branded, too. He has her initials or her name branded, like burned into his skin. Like an animal. Like a, like he's an animal just getting burned, you know? It's like, all right, that's what you do. That's what you do. Not me. That's what you do. That's crazy. Now on his neck, we have K-N-S-O-P. And people are saying that it's Kim, North, <gasps> Saint. What's the O? Damn. No, nah, it can't be. Because it's just Palm is the last song. No, the there's last another one. one. There's another one. Chicago. For, Chicago. So, yes, Chicago, potentially. Okay, so that's a C. They're saying that's a C. Chicago and then P. And then if you look at it, it's in the order literally of their birth, like the youngest to like oldest, I think, or something, or oldest to youngest, whatever. So it's like in a chronological order. This is a theory online, and it's actually, it couldn't be proven if you look at this photo, like that's that's what could potentially could be. Because other than that, it would have to be something very unique. Like, what does it stand for? K Nescap? Like, this is a word? Like, what is this? (laughs) So people are like, damn, this man literally (laughs) is like trying to. Provoke. Provoke. Or not provoke, I guess. Oh. Just trying to be involved in the family. We had the images that went viral with him riding around with North in a go- uh, golf cart a couple weeks ago. And it's like, to each their own. That's right? Sweet. But in my opinion, when I'm in a, if I were to be in a relationship, mm-hmm. especially with so many kids, I personally wouldn't let the new, per- new person in my life really be around them this much, let alone have them tattoo mm-hmm. their initials that's on their neck. To me, that's weird. I'm yeah. sorry. Judge me, hate me, whatever. And Kanye, That's weird. Like on my neck, bro. Kanye said it publicly, publicly too. Like he don't want him messing around with none of his kids. So for him to the make father a said that, yes, and be like, I'm gonna tell your kids like they're my kids. He That's texted tough. him that too. No, they didn't even text him that. Like something like uh, you will never be around my family. Or something like that. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, he's like, I'm actually yeah. laying in your wife's bed right now, or some yeah. shit like that. Fucking your wife in your bed. Oh my and tatted, god. I'm tatted sorry, crazy. but this. If this tattoo shit is real, ha- he would have to get his ass beat. That's weird, bro. You gotta explain it for sure. Not your. That kids. is hella weird, bro. He needs to explain that shit because. Yeah. Let's think about it, man. Hella weird, man. If we don't that, even know the kids like if that. If that O is a C, for sure he gotta explain it. Yeah. Like, we'll we'll give him the benefit of doubt and be like, oh, that's not maybe the he C, closed you know. the C, that way people don't see it like on purpose. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> they're gonna think. What, what does the bottom thing say? Weird. Bro, it's scribble. It's so, Arabic. Uh, it's another name. Arabic. Also. I thought I thought yeah. that I thought that one right there that's visible says ambition. Sorry, said Ariel. Oh, no, don't that's say that. He's taking oh. a shot at us. Oh. It's like Aladdin. <laughs> Imagine he. Oh. Blocked, he blocked, oh, he's coming at us. He blocked the company. You know he blocked so he us. Put it, yeah. what? On Instagram years ago. <laughs> so we're really? biased. We're biased. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> on um, on somewhere he blocked okay. us somewhere because we Who do the okay. Ariana reaction, the Ariana Grande during the time that they were together, and I would come at him like, "Bro, you don't deserve to be with this beautiful <laughs> queen because you look like shit." But it was jokes because he's a comedian. But you're so, also like low key obsessed with Ariana Grande. Yes, him as well. Mm-hmm. We, we we have this infatuation. We think she's very beautiful. Hey. But now that relationship's hey. left, right? So it's like, should we hold this disdain with I'm still Pete? On the sidelines. Maybe <laughs> a little bit. Down the list. Maybe yeah, a little bit because he did block <laughs> us. So it's like he did have a, a hate with us. But who knows? Damn, if that's ambition, our clouds going up. 
<laughs> but I don't think it is, you know. It's ride with it, isn't it? It's a ride with it, you know. But yeah, that's very crazy to me. I'm sorry. Like, there's a lot of mm. people who have, you know, freedom of speech. You can say whatever about certain things, but it's gonna be hard to argue this one yeah. if that's really his their initials. You, that's a hard argument. What do you? Come on. He got to get it erased. Yeah, it's tough. cool, guys. Like, let him do him. I have a no. No, I'm sorry. That shit looks like the wall of the fucking. You know that the all them tags are doing the highway and shit. Yeah, because that's the thing. He oh, journals man. his life, so he wants to document everything. Uh, maybe not this one. Like yeah, that's yeah. like a bit weird. We ne- I've never sensitive. seen nothing like this. I never see, especially publicly. Like, cause maybe if it was hidden, obviously people would have known. But if it's on his neck, people like photos, paparazzi, you're gonna catch it. You know, and he's not wearing reason. a turtleneck, so it's like you're gonna see this. But then we have Pete being Pete, doing his Davidson thing. But comment down below, how do you guys feel about that? Do you agree? Do you not agree? Prayers for Kanye. I think he's still on that island. He was on an island previously that we reported, and I think he's still on that island. Because he hasn't been seen in America. Future's album dropped. He's a part of it. He's a part of the video. But the video's old. Everything's old. Kanye's nowhere to be found. Now we have this. If Kanye was on Instagram, woo! The freaking <laughs> tire. Oh, the what rant we would saying? see about this? Mm. Or maybe he has seen it and he already had the discussion with her. And maybe it's not anything. Who knows? He has to come out and explain this, though. Rich people yeah. confuse me, man. Rich people doing rich, rich people things. Business. Man. Next story right here that was online that went viral, and a kind of local story as well. Smoke Perp had a show in Boston. And this was the tweet. Smoke Perp's show last night in Boston was a disaster. Just to clarify, it wasn't the promoter's fault. It wasn't the DJ's fault. It wasn't the venue's fault. I added the screenshot of the story if you want to read about what happened. Bro, Smoke Perp's show in Boston last night was a straight disaster. Why, why can't I say disaster? I'm like slurring my words. I was hired to shoot the event, and I saw people waiting in line around 7 p.m., I kept coming outside to see how long the line would get and stayed roughly the same length, 12 to 15 people. <laughs> God bless, God bless. I thought it was a weird as the doors opened, but it didn't. I didn't think of anything. The show goes on normally. The opener came out, killed it. The DJs are doing their thing, but then at 11 p.m. hits, everyone on stage starts hyping Smoke Perp's entrance, but 30 minutes go by. He doesn't do nothing. Um, they do it again. 30 minutes go by, nothing. It's 12 o'clock now. An hour later, Smoke Perp has yet to arrive. 12, 20 hits, and he finally shows up. He goes to the green room backstage in the, at the Middle East. So that's the venue, Middle East in Boston. I've been to that venue multiple that's times. Literally right there. Yep. Comes out. Um, he's like, I'm fine. Uh, fine. Uh, I'm like, finally, bro. I can take these photos. So I guess it's a photographer's story. But then the weirdest shit happens. Everyone is hype and finally gets to see Smoke Perp, but he's not performing. I'm like, that's weird. Is this a part of his set? Then I keep watching. Three, four songs go by. He's not doing anything. He's walking around looking at the audience. Then I realize these aren't even his songs. He's playing music from X, Little Peep, and Juice World, all his friends. Then I bu- I'm about to take my last photo as he drops his mic and a DJ says nothing. Lights come on and I get my photo as he dipped. No meet, meet and greet, no performance. There was nothing. I don't care about Perp at all, but if you go to the show, regardless of the amount of people, the least you could do is give them the, the performance that they deserve. I hate the mentality that there's rappers who are entitled to the point that they don't even give you the bare minimum of performance. And even if it wasn't expected or what they expected, give them something. I'm not a fan of this, but the people in the audience were pissed. That's what happens when you're on the come up and you diss the legends you're trying to help. I don't know what that means. Shout out to Smoke Park, bro. He diss a legend? When did he ever diss well, legends? J. Cole, remember he had that Oh, Cole yes, shit? probably. Yeah, that was a thing. Fuck, fuck J. Cole. Yeah. That was his thing. I but think J. Cole sat down. Not with him, though. He sat down with Lil Pump. Yeah, Pump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is true. And he yeah. made the whole songs about those rappers, the little somethings, he called them. I Damn. Think, I think him walking out or, like, not performing, just walking around, he was finally realizing, like, fuck. Suck. Like, that's, that's, this is really what I brought out. I wasted, a, I waited an hour extra, yeah. an hour and 20 extra to see. He probably was in the back trying to see, but. Yeah. And, and this is where, if we're going by this photographer's story, and it seems to be accurate, no one has no one has kind of um disapproved this or said that it's not accurate. And also, um, his account is like a professional, like written out statement. It seems to be serious, and he's also saying like nothing against him. He's just disappointed because yeah. he was there to do his job, and it's like he didn't even give a performance. So it's like I can't even do my job because you're not doing yours, right? So that sucks. But it's like very like what is going on with him? We saw that I think an album dropped. I think he'd even sell like a thousand copies. It was like a very low selling album. So people were coming at him because of that. And it's like, yeah, I get that because like, shit, no one's yeah, playing his music. It's sad to award. see, right? But then I'm like, maybe this guy's going through it. But then he's still doing shows. But then he goes to the show and he comes out. He doesn't do nothing, allegedly. Oh, Where's this is w- not the first time he does this? 
He's he's had shows where it's like the crowd, people question the crowd, or like the crowd doesn't fuck with him, or the crowd's too low count, like a low amount crowd. But I think this was the first time where he kind of did this, where he doesn't perform or nothing at all. So it's like, is there something going on? Do you need mm. mental health? Um, mental health help? Are you in need of therapy? Do you need actual friends to speak with? What is actually happening? You are smoke perp. You're gonna go viral. For unfortunately negative things. So you have to maybe use that to your advantage. You have fame technically still. Yeah. Whether we say it's like he's not hot, obviously, but he still has fame. He got connections. Yeah. And when he was out, he was out. He was a name that people spoke about, whether the you played his music cool. or not. Uh, my favorite song of his was um, Ski Mask, was his first song that blew up. Pull up in this bitch with a ski mask. If you hear the shit, the beat, it was like one of those classic like SoundCloud era tracks. Kanye West would play it at the Yeezy um, season stores around mm. the country, and that kind of boosted that song, and it kind of made it kind of more popular. People played it, DJs knew about it, and he blew up, and he allegedly signed to Travis Scott. Like, he had moments, but then I think that contract fell through. I don't know what's happening with that, and now he has alleged connections, but there's no steam happening, mm-hmm. and it's just sad to see. We see this happen. People talk about it all the time, but sometimes without proof, where it's like, you could be here today and gone tomorrow. Like, artists, it happens. This is actual evidence right here, right? 6 9 is arguable. He's kind of back, whatever. Fetty Wap, too. Fetty Wap had that moment. Yeah. Little Pump's having that moment. Smoke Perp's having that moment. So these are evident examples of this happening to people. I have an opinion where it's like, Fat Joe has said it before. When you're in the game, as long as you're in the game, you're in the game. You might not be hot. I think Swiss Beast had a dope quote. I got to find that quote because I, I remember he said something that was really amazing. I was like, wow, that's dope. You might be not hot, but you're still in the game and you have potential again to be hot again. But you have to work with the right like team. You have to angle it right, you know. And I don't understand how he could say this is not the promoter's fault. I think to some extent. It has to be something like yeah, that, right? It is because when you're scheduling a tour, you have to see where the demographic is like yeah is boston even a place where they fuck with him for real like we're here in rhode island we probably would have saw some promotion for it if if even if you pay for like advertisement on instagram they target the uh, the audience locally so if you have a right. poster for an event and you pay for advertisements it's going to run on rhode island it's going to run through some parts of connecticut it's going to run through boston anyone that can go in that vicinity i think you can even set the radius to that extent mm-hmm. i think you could take it to that level right so his team could do that. They have a couple hundred dollars to do that, right? I would assume. Or the promoter, something. I didn't hear about this. Not that I would Maybe go, but it's like I would hear about it. You know? Uh, this week, I think at Brown University, Thames. Um, it was a bunch of people. It was student only, though. Student only. But they were there in Brown University. But I didn't hear about that. I didn't know about that. But Man, it was student I only. To that. I love but I'm like, yo, Thames was here? Like, what's going on? There's no promotion. Yeah. And she hosted at um, at Mezzo. Mezzo Lounge. She was at Mezzo Lounge. So we could have gone to that. She was here, you know. But that was like, people were kind of complaining about that. Like, what? Yeah, it, it was, was kind of Amari viral locally. Flo, Amari, Flo Millie, Smino. Flo Millie. I love Flo Millie. May, Thames, and Smino. And I love Smino. Ari what the fuck? Ari Lennox as well. That's a lineup, bro. Because I think it's student week at, you know how they have the yeah. student week and like they spend all like that money? Bro, Brown is rich. Like, they don't even got to spend yeah, student week money. They just got to spend money because they have so much money, Brown University. And it's like, you know, God bless them. But I would have loved it to be how a more fuck, bro? black school that gets to see these people because they're black artists, but it's whatever. They're gonna, they probably don't care too much. Well, one of them tweeted, I think Amari tweeted like, really? Like, um, Rhode Island's nasty, some shit. Like, Rhode Island doesn't have, like, um, no white people. It's all oh, white people, something like that, right? And then people were coming at her like, no, you're just in the wrong place. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. You're just at Brown. Like, yeah, what are you Brown's going on? What's universe. going on? You're at Brown. You're at Brown. Brown like, what are you doing? Like, you don't know what's going on. Like, there's a background. But there's, like, a disconnect sometimes with promoters and events. So that happens. This might be the case with Smoke Perp. I pray for him. I hope his mental health is okay. I wish him better. God bless Smoke Perp. I do think his music's not that great. I've listened to the newer releases. I think it could be better, especially to like the potential of being hot again. You're gonna do have to you're gonna have to pull out the big dogs again. Like yeah. pull out all your connections if you want that. And it seems like he obviously wants it because who wouldn't? Especially if like everyone's doubting you. It's like you wanna be hot again. And he's not a one hit wonder per se. I think he had like multiple tracks that caught attention and collaboration moments. So he's not a one hit one hit, uh, one hit wonder. Maybe one year wonder. I don't think he had more than one year. 
Think about it. That smoke prep yeah, era. Little Pump Era. Little Pump, little pump yeah. Era. I keep saying Little Pump. That's what J. Cole was talking about, though. You can keep making trash music if you want to, but will we remember you tomorrow? Nope. And that's the thing. People have to realize that's where the big dogs get separated from the puppies. There's different lanes. Like, you can't compare these artists when they're different. Like, J. Cole, Kanye, Drake, Future. These are legacy acts. Influential. Smoke, Perp, et cetera. They have potential to be that. But they fumble the bag. This is an example of fumbling the bag. Maybe age was a factor. He might have been too young. I know Lil Pump's age. He was like younger than us and shit. Trippy Red is younger than us. But and Trippy Red's like the only one that's still like from that moment in that era. That one, unfortunately, he's the one that's still alive because a lot of them have passed away. And two, he's still like hot. And he gets hotter and he has moments of hot, maybe cold, but he'll still get hot again with a random song, random moment. He's their OG. He's like their dad, to be honest, for being honest. Mm-hmm. You know, smoke perp. So... Oh, man. God bless him. J. Cole was right, like Christina said. It's, it's crazy. It's, cra- it's crazy. He called it. He called it. A lot of people call out of shit, but it don't. you don't see it. But this was <laughs> written in the fucking, what they say? When it's written, written in stone. Yeah. That's there we have it right there. Uh, TV show updates for the week. Um, Ozark is back. They're airing the last episodes this week um, of Ozark. Um, have you, you watched it, right? You watch it? No, nah, no. Nah, no? Like, my mom has, but no, nah, not me. Your mom? Yeah, she Why? Yeah, that's so random. Well, she watches it in Spanish? <laughs> she just watches Matt. No, nah, no, nah, in English. In English? She likes all With that, subtitles like, at soap least? opera, yeah. No, no, no. Even She understands it. Well, English. My parents watch it, watch it in English, but they put the Spanish subtitles at oh, least. To, to read, yeah. <laughs> what? Just that's in case yeah. they don't understand. Yeah, because well, you learn English they and shit. understand English. Yeah, but you know, sometimes like English dialect be like having like extra... Like pockets, like what are they talking about? Like, it'd be like a reference, you might not get it, but mm, if they translate true. it, it's like you might get it more. Like certain um, words. Yeah. Will you watch Ozark at all on Netflix? No, I'm very. I love late Ozark. To the TV. I don't watch a lot of TV. Oh no 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 that's oh that's sad that's sad that's sad. <laughs> that's hey, Ozark no, is mad good. We on the same boat. You, I watched Euphoria though. Mad good. I haven't finished it. Amazing. Yet. Yeah, really good. Wow. Um, Moon Knight, um, amazing on on Disney. I didn't see the new one. The new episode? I, I I'm halfway through. I got to finish that episode. Marvel's new Marvel. show. That's good. Marvel's you're gonna, killing it. You're gonna, um, you might be thrown off by this, but I've never watched anything Marvel except for Spider-Man. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. I don't know how you're here. <laughs> I don't know how you're alive. You never <laughs> experienced I watched joy. and game too. Okay. Yeah. Doctor is Strange weird, is coming I out. I watched the ending of in everything. Fi- in five oh, days, yeah. Doctor Strange is coming out. You should watch Doctor Strange. Mm. You should watch Doctor Strange. Oh. I'm not a fan of like <laughs> Yeah. Another show and another clip that I made viral back to back days aside from the um it's crazy. These these companies gotta start paying me. It's really disgusting. Um Atlanta. Now for background knowledge, Chet Hanks, that's Tom Hanks' son. Mm-hmm. Are you guys familiar with Chet Hanks? He went viral before for he does like the for fake Jamaican accents. For being a what? A corn. A corn. <laughs> <laughs> for doing the fake Jamaican accents. Booyaka, booyaka. Brrr. And like he does, like he like he thinks like he's Jamaican, and then people were like, "Cause you've seen it before," but people kind of cut him some slack because like it's Tom Hanks' son. Because Tom Hanks is such a legendary actor, and, he's, and the women think he's very handsome. People think Chad Hanks is extremely handsome. Like he has this body. He was the White Boy Summer. You guys remember White Boy Summer? It was like a whole thing. White Boy Summer, and then people were like, "Wait a minute, that sounds kind of KKK ish." <laughs> white Boy Summer, hold up. But he's the White Boy Summer guy. But he's actually an actor. And he's actually pretty good. He was on. The show with Brian Cranston I watched on Showtime. Mm. I forgot. You watched that show? I heard about it. He was on then. He was killing it. He was pretty good, right? He played like a junkie. New episode of Atlanta. Atlanta this season has a lot of mini short film episodes that have nothing to do with the plot line. That you can just watch it. Like, you can watch this episode. All you can watch it tonight. And you don't have to be like, oh, I, didn't, I haven't caught up. You can just watch this episode. It has nothing to do with the plot line. It's just like a, a piece of, like, culture. It has nothing to do with Atlanta, but has everything to do with this life. And if you fuck with... Culture, hip hop, black culture, you would get the references and you would like this episode. So it's about a kid who had a nanny who passed away. The nanny was Trinidadian, but he's white and his whole family's white. So he's tapped into the Trinidad culture, but his parents aren't because he he's with the nanny all the time. But she died and he like misses the nanny and they're like, oh, we got to make him happy. And they're like trying to be parents. And they're like, let's go to the nanny's funeral. But everyone's Trinidadian. This is the first time it feels like the first time they've ever seen black people. Like it's such like a, a wild experience. Well done. And then it gets to this moment where this Trinidadian introduces himself to the white family. Oi. Psst. My name's Curtis. Hi. Miles. Hi. 
This is my wife and son. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm. So how you know Sylvia? Oh, Sylvia used to care for Sebastian. The nanny. Oh, serious. Hey, you know, Sylvia was my babysitter, too. Hmm. Wow. Well, it was a sad day. But she'd be happy we're out here, you know. Yeah. So, um, you grow up in Trinidad? Or Jamaica? No, oh, it's Trinidad and Tobago. And no, I'm from Tribeca. Oh. Your, your accent is so strong. Tribeca. Yeah, everyone Tribeca says that. Like that. No. Sorry, I'm late. So it's like, first of all, it's not even the Jamaican thing, but it's an island It's not accent. a Trinidadian accent. It's, it's oh, he's trying. like Irish, <laughs> Jamaican, because he says Yaman. In, in Jamaica, they actually say Yaman. 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 Yeah, like, my, name, my name's Curtis. He's like, I'm from Tribeca. <laughs> and it's like, it's not Trinidad, it's Trinidad and Tobago. Because people say Trinidad like you're from Trinidad, but if you look online, it's, mm-hmm. like, it's called Trinidad and Tobago. Like, it's a full yeah. name. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he's like riding hard for like the Trinidad. It's like Trinidad and Tobago. Actually, I'm just from New York. Yeah, I'm just from Tribeca. It's Tribeca. Like, Tribeca is like a borough, like the Bronx, Bronx, Brooklyn. He's like, Tribeca. Like, it's like a whole thing. And then when you watch the episode and it gets to that part, at first I'm like, this is so funny, but I'm like, oh, this Chet Hanks. <laughs> I'm like, Donald Glover strikes again. Mm-hmm. He takes this joke that was all over the timeline, all over uh, the shade room, and people, whether you loved or hated Chet Hanks, you still found it funny. And, but this is almost like two years almost. I feel like yeah, that's it's old. It's like an old joke, mm-hmm. right? But then he has it here, and he puts it here in this scene, and it's like, it's taken, people were so shocked Genius. by it. And it saved the show, kind of, for a lot of people, because people haven't been liking this season. I fuck with the season of Atlanta. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's very um. It just gets deeper and like mm. more artsy. Like we talked about it when Tupac is in the sh- on an episode. Like Tupac, his what? funeral. They're at Tupac's funeral. So that's all it has to say. So like when you watch a show that has like a Tupac funeral, like what's going on? Well, it's trippy. It's like okay, this is a different level um of a programming. But this episode, I love that shit right there. I was like, what the fuck, Trinidad and Tobago? Like ever since then, I just been saying Tribeca. <laughs> like, I've been trying to do this guy's accent. And it's not That's the Jamaican clever. accent, but it's a Trinidad. So it's like the joke, but not exactly. Like, right. he's not making him do not a Jamaican yeah, it's like thing. like a parody, kind of. Exactly, you know. And he shaved his head, I think, or it made him put, like, with those fake bald caps. Because he has hair. Chet Hanks has, like, a lot of good hair, so. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, but that shit, I made that shit. That's viral online now, because I tweeted it. I'm surprised they haven't got taken down by, like, FX networks and shit. Because that's, that's technically illegal. Yeah, it's copyright. Should I even have said that? <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> NBA sports update. The playoffs have started. Um, we talk, spoke about it already, but now we're into round two. As of tonight, actually, I think round two started today. There was games earlier. The Celtics lost. Mm. It was looking shaky for them. People thought that they were might. I said it. I'm like, they might go to the finals. I had high hopes because they, they swept the Nets. They lost today. It's like, oh, shit. Hold up. Reality check. This might not be the way the Celtics go, right? So that happened. Um, John Morant. Today, almost won against the the Golden State Warriors. Got John Morant from the Memphis Grizzlies has been going crazy, playing phenomenally. I love John Morant. Um, that looks like it's going to be a good series. Did you watch that game today earlier? No, I saw the Celtics and the Bucks game, but yeah, not the yeah. following one. But that game, like, it's tough because you're we're facing the reigning champs. So like, or the defending well, champs. So what's his name's not playing, bro? The um, yeah, Middleton, but Chris Middleton. You still got Giannis, Giannis though. Yeah. He, he's, he did a triple demon, double today. Yeah. So triple double. But we got close. There was like a couple moments that it was like if we hit a couple more buckets that we was getting the stops, we probably could have got momentum in that game. But yeah, that's tough though. That's Time will tell. You know, crazy. we have a lot, a lot of other games to play. Um, also, this was just uh just viral moments off the court. Chuck, aka Charles Barkley on NBA TNT, has gone viral for his opinions with uh, Kevin Durant. They've been going back and forth. Um, he called Kevin Durant a bus driver, mm-hmm. so okay. like almost like um, you know, like you're you're driving the bus of like the team, like you know, like you're mm-hmm. but like t- kind of like um disrespecting him in a sense, but jokingly, right? He's a bus driver. That's why they lost. Like he's a bus driver, blah blah blah. And he responded back. He was posting photos of Charles Barkley on his Instagram story, blah blah blah. blah. And they just been going back and forth. It's very funny to watch, especially if you watch NBA TNT. On a weekly basis, you see Chuck still going at Kevin Durant. He still has jokes. He's like, is he 
Are they celebrating? Are they popping champagne at the play-in tournament um, mm-hmm. parade? Do they have a, like a play-in tournament parade? Because that's all the Nets did. They they won the play-in they tournament, lucky, but they didn't yeah. even you know they didn't win in the playoffs at all. So that's funny. Also, Kyrie's ass, which I have a gripe with, um, has responded to a lot of people. He's tweeted on Twitter. These have been the tweets. Um, they're still up. He hasn't taken them down. One of the main ones was this. I send shots at the puppet masters, not the puppets. All the puppets do is run around society trying to gain popularity and state opinions. What a life. It's coming at this, co- this podcast technically, right? My life is worth billions to these media corporations. My brothers and sisters who deal with it know exactly what I mean. And it's like, okay. There's some truth in that. A lot of these media corporations make their money by degrading black and African indigenous community heroes. They thrive off of it. Then they sell it back to us by having a hand selected person or a group of people spark controversies about them for the world to see. Just watch all the people who wake up every day and report about people's lives on TV and social media, then profit off of them, then justify their jobs by saying they get paid to say what they feel. LOL. It's like these people live in a fantasy. I disagree with a lot of that because my thing is this. He's saying all this shit because he's butthurt because they lost. Mm-hmm. They lost, and his fucking idea was to put this team together. Let's be very exciting. But then when the team got together, he didn't play. Okay, you don't want to get vaccinated. That's fine. But you have to understand it's a team sport. 99% of the fucking league's vaccinated, but not you. Fuck, man. Maybe think about it. You want to stand on when you stand on? That's fine. You want to be miring on fresh and fit? You want to live by what you die by? Okay. But your team suffers. That's why they got such a low ranking. They barely made it to the fucking playoffs because they didn't play most of the fucking... And then when they got a new player, Ben Simmons' ass, I already talked about him earlier, (laughs) fucking being a bum, saying his mental health, okay, now your back hurts? Why? Why does your back hurt? What's going on? (laughs) So there's no hope for this team. And then they lose every single game against the Celtics. Celtics aren't even like... uh, People were like, they're going to win the championship. They're just the Celtics. And we're biased over here in New England because we fuck... We don't got a that's Providence team. team. We yeah, have Boston, team. so we we fuck with them. Even if you don't have that team as your favorite, you still fuck with them, right? But Jason Tatum showed his ass. He did go off. But at the same time, the Nets just sucked. Like, they didn't play good defense. They were sucking. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the Celtics out-defensed out them hard. So you didn't even win one game. They got fucking sweeped. I'm like, this won't happen. They'll probably just win at least one. They lost every single game. Yeah. And then now you want to go on Twitter and say these statements. Yeah. I don't agree with these statements. Yes, media is media, but you, as a player, you you are on social media. You're doing everything you're, you, you're against. Like, you're tweeting about it. You've gone on Instagram Live, and you've had conversation interviews. Like, you are a part of media. Media exists. I'm sorry. You are a celebrity. You are in the public's eyes. No one's mm-hmm. coming at your livelihood. No one's coming at your family. We're talking about you as... A A fucking athlete, your professional sport, same way someone someone drops an album, someone doesn't like it. If you didn't have a good season, people are not going to like you. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You want everyone to be like on your boat and ride your wave and like, oh, wave the Kyrie flag. It's impossible. That's not going to happen. You have to reach terms with that, especially if you want to get paid to play basketball. And not even just that. That's the thing. He's extremely one of the best, like his handles, arguably the best when it comes to handles. Bro, there's hard. You can't. You can't really. Like when it comes to handles, there's no one really better than Kyrie. When it comes to the bro, the ball movement. So if you have that talent, people would just want to see you play. But you're yeah. over here not playing the games. And yeah. when you do play in the playoffs where it matters, you don't even win one game. So then you have people like Oof. Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith went on a freaking rant, and this he part of the rant. Yelling. I love his rants because it's like, at the end of the day, he's the face of ESPN. Like, they need him. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to his rants, he has valid statements a lot of times, including this one, where he he tells Kyrie, come on the show. Is Kyrie going? Probably not. But But since he he wants to go race, let's do that. I'm happy to have that discussion. Name the time and place. I'll show up. Kyrie can invite whoever he wants to. Right. Keep the gold, cha- the diamond here. chain. I'll Keep the diamond chain. This is the first time I've seen Stephen A. with a diamond you chain. An invitation. You want to sit up here across from me for two hours. I give you two hours, unedited, live television. I dare you to try to sit across from me and justify the nonsense you put up. I double dare you, okay? I'll come on your own damn podcast, okay? I'll come on with you and KD. You can't defend what you do. You can't, confend, you can't defend your inactivity, your negligence as a professional in terms of your unwillingness to show up to work. 
But since he wants to go race, so Stephen A. You know, put on that. his chain awkwardly. He like put. He like it's like discussion. it's like when you take it out Name and it's not supposed to be out. Yeah, like I'll show up. Kyrie can invite whoever he wants. He has money. He's like, what you want? Kyrie can come up here. I promise you, I'll do the same thing I did for for Colin Kaepernick. You have an open invitation. Oh, my bad. Still playing. My bad. Sorry for the audio. Um. But yeah, so Stephen A. said his thing about Kyrie, and let's see. I would love to see that, but mm-hmm. I doubt it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But also, it should happen technically. Don't it think should. about it, right? What do you if you're like in that, that would perspective? Be dope too. Yeah, because you want to tweet about this shit. Go out there and defend yourself. Defend yourself, and then let's see if you have valid statements in person. I also don't like that he made it a race thing. Like we always tear down. Like nobody's tearing you down as a person. We're just saying that. Lately, we're questioning your professionality. And yeah. during the week, I don't know if you guys followed the story where Jamie Foxx uh, came at Stephen A. Mm-hmm. Smith and commented on a post where Stephen A. Smith, or I think he did a video too, where Stephen A. Smith was just talking about Ben Simmons coming at Ben Simmons. And then Jamie Foxx was like, enough with the Ben Simmons, blah, blah, blah. Stephen A. only comes at black people and black artists, blah, blah, blah. But then Stephen A. called him because they're friends. And he's like, no, bro. Oh, and it, yeah, I yeah. agreed with Stephen A. because I've watched the show every, every time, all the time. So I've seen Stephen A., Dog Aaron Rodgers, dog Tom Brady. It's never just about race. If the, anything is the opposite, he always is like pro black coaches. We mm-hmm. talked about it before, where like there was like a the black coach that had the scandal in the NFL, the NFL and stuff. Yeah. Stephen A. was defending that like crazy because we do need more black coaches in the NFL. So it's just people you can't like you have to speak with facts. But you also, have to speak with facts. the black athletes are the best athletes. So who yes. else are you going to talk about? And it's like, bro, we just want to see you do you. So why are you mad at us for seeing you do you? Yeah. Like it's like you played less than half the season. Like there's a, the stat is crazy. His career games that he's played is embarrassing. Like he's barely played, but he's still a legend. It's crazy, mm. you know. But uh, God bless Kyrie. I, I will talk about him for too long because I, I hate. I don't hate him, but I hate the situation. NFL draft happened this weekend. It, it happened three rounds of the NFL draft. Players have been drafted. Shout out to the Rhode Island players that have been drafted. Uh, Queedy's brother got drafted. Um, the third round that happened, so that was the biggest thing right now with football. Um, aside from that, last topic of the day, we're gonna discuss what happened with the Nelk boy, Steve Will Do It, and Six Nine. So for those who don't know, there was a situation where you have you seen the fake Little Dirk that went viral. There's a Little no. Dirk, a fake interpreter of Little Dirk, um, called Perkio. I didn't even know he had a name. I thought he was just a fake Little Dirk, but he goes by Perkio. Um, so like Little Dirk's nickname's Durkio. Yeah. So it's like Perkio. It's like oh, okay, I get it. Um. And we've seen fake, we talked about this before as well, the idea of like uh, when someone's so famous and they have a fake person, that imposter, Michael Jackson. We saw Michael Jackson live, the fake one over here when he came to Prime. We saw it. It felt like Michael was alive. God bless. Um, oh. Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna. We saw the fake Rihanna that went viral. Fake too. Rihanna went viral. Fake Elvis. Fake Elvis is always around. That's always existed. Big Drake. Big always going viral. Mm-hmm. Doesn't even look like fucking look Drake. Like him, That's an oversized Drake. <laughs> bigger <laughs> beard. He's looking human. wild. But people oh, are running after him. Nice. They're running after him like, Drake! <laughs> That's not Drake, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? But I get it. It's like, you know, it could be, technically. Oh, it's, okay. not <laughs> it's not Drake. It's not Drake. It's not Drake. <laughs> but the fake Perkyo, this situation happened where he is seen in a video where 6 ix putting a jacket on him. So it's like, first of all, why is he with 6 9 mm. This is weird. Okay, 6 ix up to no good doing like a... Lil Durk type of skit. The jacket was King Von. Lil Durk's, you know, family member, boy, passed away. So it's like, you're trolling the dead again. He always trolls King Von, right? He said in his last song in the video, Slide for Von. He's always trolling Lil Durk. But to the point that you grab the imposter, and at the same time, it's like, if he had no uh, relationship or friendship with Lil Durk, it's fine. But the imposter was in a Little Dirk video. He worked with yeah. Little Dirk. Little Dirk hired him to make a whole music video to one of Little uh-huh. Dirk's songs off of the new album. And that came out last uh, two weeks ago. And he has like a friendship with Little Dirk and they've been working together. They probably had some more things planned. And aside from that, Nelk Boys on their podcast had Little Dirk on a couple, like a month ago. They had Little Dirk on the podcast. So Steve will do it. No one knows about him in this situation until afterwards. But. From looking at the situation alone, it starts off with this original video that I'm about to play of Little Dirk, well, the fake Little Dirk, Perkyo, um, with 6 9 This is the video that has gone viral, and everyone's been playing it. Let me get it loaded up here. And, of course, Academics was the first one to put it. <laughs> yeah, all the 6 9 yeah, exclusives. Yeah, he has a... Nine. No, 6 9 sends him. 
Oh. The shit to post for him to post only. Six Nine doesn't even post this type of shit. He just sends it to Act. It's like because they're friends. They're like close friends. Well, I'm not sure if they're close, but they're friends. Show you, look. Look. All right. This is the video. Six Nine's boy. That's Perkyo's manager. You look at Perkyo's face, very scared, like awkward energy. He's got broken jacket. Like, Who's saying? This is something that's not. I gave him the whole jacket. jacket. Put it on him. Yeah, he has a Look, leave a jacket on. He ain't jacket. And a random like green jacket. He's just hanging with him. So online, everyone was like, wait a minute, yo, this is why there shouldn't be a fake uh, little Dirk, because he's switching up on Dirk. Like, what the fuck? He's a clown. Little Reese, one of Little Dirk's uh, former associates, Chicago rapper, even said some shit on IG, where it's like, damn near like a death threat to the Perkyo kid, yeah. right? So people were like, damn, this kid, what is going on? He's getting himself caught up in a mix. But it turns out, he went on live, Perkyo went on live, and said that it was because Steve will do it. Famous YouTuber, part of the Nug Boys. His team contacted him and said that they want to do a video together. And he was like, yeah, let's do some content together. But then when he gets there, there's clips of it, of Steve telling him, 6 ix here. Do you want to meet him? Let's do like a squash the beef, like a little dark squash the beef with 6 9 And then Perkyo's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. That's a, he has an accent because he's Haitian. I think he's Dominican as well, but I think he's mostly Haitian. Um, and to be honest, I do think he's like fairly new to even America, to be honest, mm. it does, from what I recall. So they played him. So this guy's like completely like on an innocent level. Where like he, you know, he's like new to this, like this, I even his energy, this culture. And he's a young, I think he's a teenager still. So they're trying to understand the situation. And then he's like, no, he gets there. No, he's like, no, I don't want to do that. But then this happens. Whereas like outside he goes and he's like kind of forced the situation to meet with him. And there's another clip of Steve will do it where Steve is like, um, are you sure you don't, he's here. He just wants to blah, 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 blah. But then at night, Perkyo went live. He said no. He's told that story of the Steve thing. Steve went, posted videos on his Instagram. No, I'll I'll pay Perkyo a million dollars if he shows me evidence of me contacting him. We never contacted him. He's lying, blah, blah, blah. But then, a couple hours later, Steve will do it, deletes his IG. What happened? Couts out the bag. Mm -hmm. Steve will do it, has said this now. Oh. He's apologized to the gentleman and has said that he's never doing any videos with 6 9 Steve will do it has said this during a I am athlete podcast with Brandon Marshall. On the, you know, the I am athlete yep, podcast. Yep. Very random to me, in my opinion. I watched the full interview. In my opinion, they were kind of unfair with him. They made it more about race and like I get it to mm. some extent, but they, they this is not the platform for Steve will do it to go on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Definitely. It didn't make sense. It was weird. I like how he used the platform, though, to at least say his opinion. Right here. We have it. Oh, hold up. My dumb ass. I'm going to play right here, and I'm going to play. I got to play it here. Um, Damn. He got himself in some shit. No, it's some hot water. Track. I would not I mean, right now, any of those people. Listen, yes. it gets too too messy. I mean, right now, I'm not I'm not filming or doing anything with 6 9 anymore. There you go. Because, like, because. Sean McCoy. Here's the thing. With me. If someone if if some if someone does something to me where they like use my name right, and then the consequences I got is I'm getting threats and mm -hmm. I'm looking like this bad guy when I had no in ill intention. I would kind of I would cut them off. Right there you go. Honestly, and you know I'm here. I'm telling my friends, my girlfriend, everyone. It's like you know, no one just gets a pass because they're they're famous or whatever. It's like. I I'm I do a lot of good and everyone loves me and everything and he for, does a lot of money. Marlon knows we for me that for someone to use my name cars, and put concept, me in a situation so to that where to where I don't understand and I would never want to be a part of and now I'm getting all this hate and everything like it sucks. Right. So basically, like I, I'm just not doing shit with them anymore. Cause that that was like that wasn't cool. Like I would never mm. would want to be part of that like i i, I this is it sucks that it happened like that he sounds kind of scared i mean right now i'm not he does, the i'm thing not is his brain filming like his brain or doing is really anything like he's done some clips six nine anymore. like he did a new video because like my bad um he did a new video where it was like donating two million dollars but it's not two million dollars it's two million pesos so it's like mexican dollars 
So he does shit like that, but it's like he doesn't go too far. Like the idea for this, he said in the full interview, if you watch it on I Am Athlete's YouTube channel, he's stating that he wanted to go and just, well, 6 9 pitching the idea of having a thumbnail where it's like Little Dirk squashes beef with 6 9 mm. But the video, his vlog, Steve will do it, it's not going to even have footage of that. It was just clickbait, maybe like a photo, mm. but not like making content, uh, according to him, right? This was, uh, he kept saying 6 9 He kept kind of blaming 6 9 6 9 6 9 right? And if you watch the interview, it did seem like, damn, this guy is like cutting ties with 6 9 But breaking news, while we were here filming, Brennan Marshall hmm. has posted DMs from 6 9 oh So boy. 6 9 has now DM'd Brennan Marshall, um, <laughs> stating and confirming that he watched, I guess, the podcast, um, right? Because... I assumed I assumed he was gonna watch it, you know, because six nines tapped into all everything. But let's see it right here. B Marshall. B Marshall is the guy from the podcast. Yeah, B Marshall's the the I am athlete. Like he created that podcast. He's Brandon Marshall. Host. Yeah, he he used to play for the Patriots. Brandon Marshall. He's a very um, like classic football player. Like people know him. It's crazy. But they were, they were on their podcast. Where's my camera? Right here. That one right there. Talking real reckless. <laughs> I'm talking about what's in Rhode Island. Tuh. You obviously haven't been in the right places, sir. Oh, because were they the ones that interviewed um Euro? Euro, yeah. Or no, but I think it was wasn't it the um oh, it was them. It was yeah, them. He You're was right. Like, Rhode I was Island. A, what's I, in Rhode Island? There's a spinoff podcast that they have with the people that were formerly on their podcast. Now they have their own pivot mm. podcast. I thought it was them, but it wasn't the pivot podcast. You're right. It was um mm. I am athlete. So this is the actual message. He says, Yo, to you, the and the dude, I'm not, that's literally what he said. In the red shirt that interviewed Steve, not the guy with the dreads. So he's like, his, his, not the guy in the dreads. Not you, yeah. you're not, you two assholes, not you, not him. Suck my whole fucking dick. Steve did not know uh, that you was belitt belittling him, laughing at him, not with him, but I peeped it. Suck my dick. That's why you are where you are right now, holding on to something that you will never have again. A career lying about FS1, wanting you on TV after you retired. You are a fucking bum. Nobody even knows you or brings you up when they talk about football. Just another N-word who, who made it <coughs> to the league. Very wild when he started saying the N-word and when he mm -hmm. says this. Listen, you should cut your fucking nasty-ass dreads. You, you would have been on T. Uh, oh, if you, I guess he's trying to say. If you, he, he's just, just saying typos, but I guess he's saying, if you would have cut your fucking SC ass dreads off, you would have been on TV. Now you're just on YouTube. It's like, whoa. Bugging. This might be some of the nastiest shit that 6 that Six Nine has, has like said. Borderline racist, I feel like. Yeah, it's like, bro, what is going on here? Like, What does his hair have to do with anything? Yeah, what does his hair have to do with anything? Why do you have to take it to this level of a situation? Um, Now, like I said, if you do watch the interview, I think that Steve should have never been on I Am Athlete. Because if you watch it, they are... Biased because they're like, you should study the black culture. You should study um our hip hop culture before you do anything with it. But at the same time, they don't know what the fuck he does. Mm. Like they didn't even know his content. Like they had so many. Like they were so kind of clueless about him. They just knew that he's dope and like he has a following, and like they wanted him to talk about that on there. They but it's like it's a hypocritical. Like you guys are using him the same way you're saying that he's using like blah 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 blah. It's like you guys are still using him. Right, and I think we j it's a double-edged sword. Like, we got to call a spade a spade. Like, that's not right. I think he was better off just talking to uh, his own people, doing a YouTube video, like, talking to the camera. Like, yo, like... Go on live. Go on live. Like, that shit would have been way the same type of effect because you're getting the message out, but more, like, makes more sense because then you don't have 6 9 DMing people saying weird-ass shit that's going to be taken differently. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're making it nasty, talking about dreads. Like, relax. And he brought up the dreads because they're in an interview... Um, Brandon Marshall told Steve would do it as an example of black culture. He's like, you have to understand, like, we go through different type of things. For example, um, I would play for a team, blah, 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 and they said, cut my dreads off, blah, blah, blah. Now, what do you answer to that? What do you think they cut, made me cut my dreads off? And Steve was like, oh, I have no idea. I don't know. Like, that's so weird. Why would they make you cut your dreads off? And he's just trying to say an example, like, you know, mm -hmm. to some people, that's not professional. Like, that's things right. that yeah. our black culture, we deal with, like hair. Everything is like a thing. Where like when it comes to like aesthetics, but yes, but what does that have to do with this? Like this does not, you know. But I guess he was trying to say like we got to protect the Perkyo kid because the Perkyo kid could have get killed, mm -hmm. and if he would have gotten mm -hmm. killed, technically it would have been Steve would do his fault, mm -hmm. not just Six Nine's fault, right? Yeah. And there's some truth in that, but so he's the one. I don't think it's gonna happen. Right? 
Steve will do it. There's some clips of him recording. The video that 6 9 posted, I don't think it wasn't Steve. It was like 6 ix people that posted it, that main video. But there's videos of, of Steve will do it recording and that he's taken down, deleted now. But they're still online. People is going to live on forever, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. That's why he's trying to make this decision to not work with 6 9 not do videos with 6 9 Now, if you're familiar with it, me and Marlon are, we've been following up. Steve will do his videos during this past like two years. And 6 9 has kind of done a rebrand where he's done a lot of philanthropic. Uh, philo- Tropical, philanthropical. How do you say? Philanthropic. Philanthropic work, philanthropy. Uh, philosophical. with Steve, <laughs> philosophical, <laughs> giving out money, etc. Before six nine came back, quote unquote, came back to social media. He was on YouTube with, um, mm. Steve would do his channel, doing Steve would do his stuff, which was dope to see. They were give, gifting each other cars, gifting each other jewelry, like very like wholesome. Like, oh, these guys are friends. So you saw this friendship, but now you see it potentially. Failing, especially in six nines, not in six nines' favor, and six nines reaching out to mm. Brandon, yeah, like yo, blah blah blah, like what the fuck, like you try to play him, blah blah. blah. But at the end of the day, Steve did say that, so you have to maybe check Steve, talk to Steve, not come at Brandon, especially not that nasty ass way. Let's not talk about the like, come on, like it's not, because I could watch the whole interview, but I still don't agree with you saying that shit about the braids because like it might have not had to do nothing with the conversation, but why? Tell him to cut his nasty ass braids. Like that's so yeah. wild. But at the same time, he's I'm actually nine. surprised he's kind of defending Steven. Uh, like he was like, "Yo, you guys." Basically, he's saying that they took advantage of him. Yeah, but like, it's like you did the same thing before the yeah before this like like Vic said um, he, he's been like six nine's been in Steve will do his videos, so they've been having that friendship mm-hmm. pretty much of like mm-hmm. yeah at least this guy's gonna accept me you know after all I've done like he's put him on the video so. But I think it's bad on both sides. Oh, it's just, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's on the thing, my bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was blasting. But not on, um, like, it's bad on both sides because it's like, if you're the, the perky old kid, you're going to do your research well, on he, who Steve will do it is. Very like, secure. No, yeah. for sure. But you're going to do your research on who Steve will do it is, who who he fucks with. Yeah, but like, he's a, he's a and youngin', bro. You know, his team and everything's back because you know he, he fucks with 6 9 though. Yeah, they should have never just let him. You think, like, think Perkyo has a team? Yeah, for sure. Like, especially. Oh, well, if he has a team, yeah, I guess. Especially so. if, like, Lil' He doesn't Derek have a team because they reached out. Um, Not to cut you off, but he, he does did. have a team. The team showed DMs, or he showed DMs of the team and the negotiations that he had with said person. I think even the. Even the fake Drake, I think the fake Drake was involved. Like, he was, like, helping out the uh, exchange, and the agreement was maybe, like, the fake Drake was going to be there as well. So, like, he thought, like, oh, it's dope. Steve will do it, fake Drake, fake fake Lil Dirk. He's, like, he thinks it's, like, a meetup or something, the content. And they offered um, 5K, but then Perkyo's team said 7K. It has to be 7K, blah, blah, blah. And he got paid the money, though. But it didn't get paid to him. There's video of him getting paid, but not him. His man got paid, his, I guess, manager, whatever. But Perkyo, like, the whole time, he's on, he's on the elevator during this video. I think 6 9 posted it as, like, proof. Like, you got paid. What are you lying, bro? Like, you knew what was happening. But then Perkyo's, like, upset. Like, you could see him, like, moving off and, like, he wants like, to leave. He's not a yeah. part of this. And, like, you saw the live where Marlon said it as well. He looks scared. Everything about this just the kid looks scared. Cause he's not a part. He's not a part of that. The OTF life. The he's not King really Dirk. little Dirk. Yeah, like right. he's just exactly. impersonating him. So exactly, and he didn't actually put the jacket on himself. They put yeah. it on yeah. him. It looks like they forced him to yeah. do that. Yeah. So little Dirk's like in them. They most likely will if they see it. If they have a brain, they'll look at it and be like, "Okay, this is some bullshit." Six nine trying to pull. Let's not even react. Little Reese react. Little Dirk uh, tweeted something, but it wasn't really towards this. Some people were kind of saying it was about it, but I don't think it was. Um, Say he was charting again. He was yeah, he was just talking about I'm charting again. Oh, I just yeah. turned my phone on again. LOL, I'm viral, charting again, some shit. Him, yeah. But you're not charting. Well, <laughs> he, he's been, but I don't think this past week he was. So I think he was just trying to throw people off the tracks. But yeah. um, I pray for everybody involved. I hope it doesn't reach a level of violence. I think six nine is enticing this and really rolling with this shit to be potentially violent. I think now more than ever because he's doing shit like this. And people aren't really riding with it. This is the worst he's starting to look. People aren't really don't like this because before, like the the Nipsey shit was disgusting. Like all that shit was bad, right? But you're not really getting anyone involved. Now you're getting this kid involved, and people are just like, "What is this, bro? Like you're already back. You're trying to drop music, do that, but now it's you're like doing he's a little desperate. perk." Yeah, it's like this yeah. is very corny. Like it's genuinely just corny. You can fuck with him, fuck with his music, but you can't look at this and be like, "Oh no, that's normal. That's corny." That's not necessary. Like, what is this? Now, God forbid, there was a misinterpretation and this kid gets killed because he's like, oh, you're riding yeah. for them? You know? And it looks bad for Nelk because, like I said, 
Lil Durk was on their podcast, yeah. which they mentioned in the I Am Athlete interview. It's like, you you know, this is just looks like bad business. Like, is this even business? Why are you guys doing this? Mm, mm, mm. But, you know, prayers to them. I didn't know Steve was 23. Yeah, he's young. Oh, he's young. He's what 90. the fuck? He looks older than that. That's crazy. That's he's younger alcohol. than us, bro. The alcohol and cigarettes and all that shit. In the gym, steroids. These kids are young yeah. millionaires, man. But that's the thing. Like, you're young millionaires. Like, stop that's fucking thing, shit up. Though, but they're still kids. Yeah. So the bag yeah. doesn't determine your maturity. Yeah. They just got now more money to be dumber. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it dumber is. and funner. Let's have more fun and still be Crazy. just as dumb. Because to dumber. get a jacket made like that, not for nothing, that's kind of expensive. That's so, some. That's yo. <laughs> that's a, that's planned looks, too. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. It's premeditated. You can't really. Uh, even if we go here to Promise Place to do it at um, what's that shit called? Custom tees or some shit. It's not gonna look like. They'll that. be like, yo, you need twelve hours. <laughs> I, I don't know how six nine had that ready. Like that was like right away. He did that beforehand, definitely. Like the day before, like he probably had that jacket ready, so it was like yeah. well thought out, well planned out. And it's like, man, I don't know. I just don't want no, nothing to happen to nobody involved. Cause How do you even get 6 9 stuff? I feel like I erase him from my algorithm completely. I don't see nothing from him. Academics. Uh, I got academics post notifications on. And Steve will do it too. Like, he's keeping them relevant. I like just. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Both sides should have done their research, at least to know who's. And Steve mm-hmm. will do it, can't really defend himself because he knows. Uh, uh, six nine is gonna be around. Yeah. There's no way he, you're not gonna know how he's gonna be here. Like, I think they're all in Miami too, so they all live out there right now. So it's like they're always around each other. So yeah, yeah. dangerous, it's dangerous tough. games. It's a very dangerous games, you know. Yes, so everybody, yeah. please stay safe. And there we have it, guys. Cap episode twenty nine. Appreciate Christina coming Thank through today. A, a lot of fun laughs, a lot of fun moments. We we got some good topics today, coincidentally with her, yeah. especially the relationship ones. Because we don't really hit on them. Well, they don't really have happened too much. But, you know, there's some good ones this episode. You know? Relationships. Yeah. That's not, yeah. That's a whole nother one that we could, you gotta have, we gotta have you on again to do like almost like a, a therapy session. But then again, <laughs> we don't gotta put it out there if you don't wanna put it out there. A therapy know, session. Oh, the therapy's for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for you. Who else? Who else? <laughs> Oh, someone else needs it. Oh. I don't know. I could be the guru. I'll sit here with a turban. Is oh. that racist? <laughs> and like a crystal ball. You could do a turban. Yeet does it. Yeet does it. But is, isn't he turban culture? I thought they say he was white. It's Muslim. Turban culture. <laughs> this is sick. Oh, my God. You know, um, yeah, man. Cap, and we're out. Appreciate you guys listening every week. Make sure to subscribe, tune in, leave a review, um, comment down below, share your opinion on these topics, and we'll see you guys next week much love they gonna love me for my ambition